All right, we're going to do it earlier today. So, yeah. Earlier is better. So, we're going to do it earlier today. We just got home. Yeah, earlier is better. Mm -hmm. Um, hi, Chuck. For uh, Chuck Food reviews and more. Hello, good to see you here. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good to see you here. How was your day? I'm just starting earlier today, guys, because we just got home. Hi, Kevin Gagnon. Hello. Good to see you here. Thank you so much. Luis Hernandez. Wow, early, Luis. You're early today, Luis. So how are you guys doing today, actually? Good to see you here, guys. Harley's uh, J Gear, hello, good to see you here, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, you guys are early today. Amazing. So, did you guys have a? Um, we we're talking about the cockroaches. So, uh, have you guys have a, a cockroaches there? Because um, in the Philippines, we have really big. Marvin Clayton, just stopping by for a minute to say hi. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. I mean, do you guys have a big cockroaches? Did you ever see a cockroaches before in your life like that? yeah yeah we have a lot of cockroaches in the philippines but those um i think cockroach in the Philippines are huge but i don't know about here in the u.s or anywhere because we have we have really big cockroaches in the philippines really so i have no idea if here because i saw a small amount of them um Harley Jagers, uh, no cockroaches, thank God. Oh, really? That's awesome. We have cockroach here, even a garage, yeah? Uh, Chuck Food Reviews, and we have some in Virginia. How big is it? Because we have, like, huge. We have huge. Uh, they are so big that you need a uh, permit to kill them. <laughs> oh my goodness, really? Um, southbound. Oh my God, Harley G. Uh, Harley, hello to all we uh, I've never met before. Yes, everybody. Hello to everybody, and thank you, thank you so much, guys, that you guys are here. And Jen, man, good morning to you also. Good morning, good morning to everybody. I know it's a good morning, good afternoon, and good night to everyone out there. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend and stuff like that. So we just do this earlier today because I was thinking we just got home from outside from lunch. So, you know, Mike, they're in every places in the world. Yeah. Um, except the Arctic and Atlantic, but uh, we'll, we'll be there if they are, they can stay warm. Yeah, I have no idea why, to be honest with you guys, I have never seen a cockroaches and other in the other country like Thailand. But in the Philippines, guys, they're huge. You know, we have this uh, big cockroach, you know. So, yeah, I hate, <laughs> I hate when they fly. <laughs> yeah when they fly that is really huge um sometimes i got beat in my uh, you know in my legs i guess you know so i mean in my in my toe long time ago but and um, you know luckily luckily it's like you know i got that i don't have the virus and everything yeah hardly uh, i mean we have them here but none of my house Nah, but none of my house. That's good because we don't have to just have an infestation, right? 
because if you have cockroach and they have in the house will be oh my god that's not really a good one especially with the rats right and you have that so that would be nasty but i'm glad that you guys don't have that yeah uh, then, man, in the Philippines, you have a lot of uh, termites when conditions are right. Yes, we do. We have big rats. Did you ever have seen the big, really big rats there, guys? There, there is. You know, especially those are dangerous. Yeah, those. Hi, J Dog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. J Dog is in the house. Yes, they bite. Yes, they do. They bite, and then you get some kind of. Uh, something in your skin St uh, steven bano i get to see you hello dragon lady i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend today and uh, good to see all of you here guys spending time with dragon lady um afternoon uh, show there's the afternoon show for for you guys here yes and um j dog uh is in the house got to uh got 1000 youtube from today so happy oh amazing congratulations to you congratulations j dog i'm happy i'm happy her spray in a lighter color her spray <laughs> harley uh usually german cockroach where i live oh okay uh chuck food i love your hair thank you so much i actually have a long hair guys i never have a short hair uh hair and uh always be i always have a long hair since then never a short hair i know it's hard to maintain with the long hair guys because there's falling apart blah 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 to comb stuff like that ernie hot ernie hot maker hi cc welcome 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 thank you thank you thank you good to see you now welcome to the mud yes welcome to the mud now you you did um uh you deserve it cc now welcome welcome thank you thank you thank you uh rena ashmer scratcher hello welcome 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 thank you thank you thank you don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're not having it yet and i'm so glad guys that you have with the afternoon show with dragon lady philippines yes my congratulations j dog exactly congratulations uh, do you have a celebration, J Dog? Legendary Apex, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have cockroaches all over or something. Did you guys uh, even see? Shout out to 20 people in the house. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, um, cockroaches, guys, in the Philippines or all over the places, I guess, you know, like I always says, abandoned places with Blake. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Southbound. A uh, carburetor, a uh, cleaner kills them fast. Oh, okay. If I see that in a house in the Philippines, I will do that. Southbound legendary effects. Remember me from Halloween? Uh, yeah, I remember you. I remember you, legendary. Yes, I remember you. Bernie Mabe, hello. Good Saturday afternoon, sister. Dragon Lady Phil, hit the thumbs up and show and share looking very beautiful thank you so much actually guys i have a uh, injection today i got my um right here guys i don't know if you can see i got my uh, last i got my last um inject uh injects for uh uh for my hpb guys i have that last so yeah before i uh, go flight uh, in two weeks guys i i did this and i'm so glad it's done so yeah i'm so happy with that guys yes thank you so much thank you so much uh Bernie mabe yes and uh, harley jiga you're welcome mabe um abandon with blake i left you a like thank you so much abandon thank you so much i love your hair dragon lady it is very long hair harley uh yeah i have a long hair and i don't know if you guys can see that it is a very long hair yeah right there as you can see guys this is our all together but uh yeah yeah like that mm. yes so a long hair guys um Thank you so much. Yes. Um, events and earning. Uh, uh, Kajoste. Thanks, dear. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, 
Hold on. Even says Stephen, that's good. Uh, that's good. The best long hair. Yes, exactly. Uh, Stephen Benoit. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Abundant. Hello, everybody. Evans like. Hi, James. Good to see you. It's much to like. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Benis, Benis Serrano. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for stopping by. Good to see all of you here. Thank you so much. You guys have a, a cockroach in your house for Belgian Kenson. Good to see you here. Welcome, welcome. I'm getting a new puppy today. Whoa. Wow. Very nice. That's awesome. Peanut Butter 524, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll be right back, I'm at work. Okay, Abandon, thank you so much. Coming back, all right, welcome back again later, yes. Bernie, hi, Nathan, uh, uh, Nathan's Halloween. Good to see you here, thank you, thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Affordable, uh, Jen, Simon, hi, Bernie. Tony Patriot, good to see you here, thank you so much. Welcome to the model. Welcome, welcome, Tony. Welcome to the Mads Club now. You're a Mads Club now. Bernie, uh, hey, Nathan, um, you deserve it. Uh, Trap time, hello, good to see you here. Uh, so everybody, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by and showing some support and love. Uh, good old Nikon, happy birthday. A uh, birthday, today's your birthday? Oh my God, happy, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday to you. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. So you have party today. You have party and everything. Oh my goodness, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Yes. So any one of you guys have cockroach in the house, really? Actually, we have cockroach here. And then the cockroach is not too, uh, not so big, not like in the Philippines, they're huge. But um, yeah, I really, guys, it's easy to just, you know, I guess because I'm living in an Asian country, Philippines. So I have no idea if they have those, if they have that here. We have huge uh, pal palmetto bugs in Florida that look like flying cockroach. Really? What kind is that, Tony? What kind? Uh, Bernie Mabe. Okay, brother. Uh, Harley SG car. Harley, happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Uh, per billion. Ha what kind is that? Is that really a bug or just those can have, like, have a, uh, you know, some kind of, I don't know what they call this, a really big bug, you know. So, yeah, Har hi, Harley and Bernie. Yeah, so guys if you guys go to the philippines or i'm not sure about in thailand or indonesia or some other places but of course every place is have a it's a big it's a bug okay because guys if you if you go there in the philippines you encounter the big rats um the big um cockroaches they're flying and they bite and they bite Hi, Kicking with Ben. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you haven't yet. Smash the like and thank you so much. Yes. Harley, uh, thanks uh, for sending me here, Tony. Yeah, Harley is awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, Pearl Jean uh, Kenson. Let's go, Tony. Yes, let's go. All trop uh, tropical countries have cockroaches. But southbound, I've never, I've never seen uh, something in Thailand, though. I don't know how big their cockroaches. Uh, Paul Collins, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Dragon Ladies uh, live streaming today. Thank you so much. Kick and Tony, hello. Tim Holmes, good to see you here. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Harley, uh, hello, kicking with Ben, kicking with Ben, thumbs up, exactly, guys. Uh, Nathan, um, we have a heater right now, so I'm, I'm, I'm wearing this guy, but when I'm cold, guys, because it's easy for me to get, but I have this uh, injection today in my, my arm, so it's kind of like irritating me, because that's a big noodle, that's gonna be my last you know my last injection for me okay absolutely tony party yes kicking hardly hello um 
Absolutely, Kick and Arnie Little Fibbles. Folks, I was once chased by a cockroaches, a cook, ch uh, chased by cockroaches. Oh, really? Where? And here in the U.S.? Um, Paul? Harley, hello, uh, Paul. Kick and thumbs up is free. Exactly, thumbs up is free. Yeah. Share the love, 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 love. Share the love. Kicking with men, thumbs up is free. Pinoy, ahoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, okay, guys? I appreciate that a lot. And I knew everyone in here are very, very nice and loyal. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much to all of you guys. Appreciate a lot. I am Omak Injustice. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome. Thumbs up. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, uh, kicking with Ben, join you. Yes, exactly, guys. Yes. Pinoy Ahoy host, you are la, Lamig. Yeah, I am Lamig, but we have a heater right now so strong, so I don't feel Lamig right now, so I'm doing this. Yeah. Uh, Pinoy Ahoy, Scotland. Oh, wow, in Scotland. Are you from Scotland? That is awesome. Kicking with Ben, thanks to uh, Southbound 90s in Thailand. I think they fry them and sell them at the street. Oh my God, I don't want to eat some. I don't want to eat cockroach. You think those are clean? The cockroach southbound. Oh God, I, I'm not gonna eat cockroach. Nothing is Halloween. Stop. I just have you thumbs up. Have a great stream. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Amazing. Appreciate that a lot. Paul Collins in Scotland. We have big cockroaches. Oh, it's the same thing in the Philippines. We have this huge, like this. Must be like that. It will flying all over the place. Yes. Uh, I am uh, uh, D Mac in Justice Scotland. Wow, Tony, uh, Tony Patriot. Yes, laughing. Thank you. I'm on the boat. Yes, Bernie, maybe I got hit in the head one one night by a big rice beetle when I was working out on the ramp in La Lafayette, LA, and I thought it was a ro uh, rock sister dragon lady. Oh my goodness, a big bat, a big bugs. Wow, I never have seen that those kind of bugs here, but I knew we have cockroach here and those um, uh, some other insects, but not in that. And there's an insect that is kind of noisy. I saw that. Yeah, that's disgusting. I rather die, die from the, the starving. Exactly, Tony. I don't want to eat um, cockroach. Yes. Kicking with Ben Southbound. Hello for Baha'i for Harley. Uh, cool for Collins being from Scotland. Yes. Is this that Scotland is cold right now, guys? You got a snow and everything? New Pound Lander Ingalls family. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for your host if you haven't that yet. I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And welcome to our topic today is a big cockroach and everything. Yes. Paul Collins for Real Pinoy Ahoy. I don't like Ipis. Yes, exactly. Ipis, especially you, Ahoy. I know you're married with the Filipina. Yes. Um, kicking with Ben Nathan. I am uh, just this. Kicking with Ben Jane. Uh, Jane. Hello. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I follow all of you good folks. Yes, everybody. No Ipis in my house at this time, but my. Uh, uh, Mikey, what was that? Mikey was was to show you what real Filipino con, uh, con, cockroach looks like in YouTube. Yeah, exactly. They got huge, right? They got really huge, and those are dangerous too because they bite. They really do. When when you know a lot of people they have that, but they used to it, you know. But uh, yeah, they used to it. Some people they used to it on that. Uh, Paul Collins, the average uh, cockroaches in Scotland is seven inches. Wow, that's big. I love tacos. <laughs> um, we do love tacos also, caking with Ben. We do. Um, Purple Jenkins and Paul Collins uh, return me also so love. Yes, Paul Collins, Mike, love um, kicking with Ben when I can return the blue. Um, Kicking with Ben, you'll be uh, 
get the turn the blue okay welcome to the mud screen kicking with ben now you have obligations stuff like that all right so uh gsk outdoors what what's up ray ray i had a, a roach in cebu pull that switch <laughs> black on me yeah really did um blade did you have bite did, did a cockroach bite you oh my goodness i am the man who is it's big uh Cockroaches disgusting if they are full of white stuff. And oh god, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I am uh, D Mac and just in Thailand. If you go there, they fry them, and you can see that uh, in the vendor. That was nasty. Oh god, I don't want to eat that. Seriously. Um, Pinoy, uh, when Eve is in the bedroom, um, bathroom, I hit them with tabo. <laughs> Yeah, I hear it with a tabu or sleeper, you know? When you see that, it's like, yeah. Hi, Popeye. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much for coming back. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're not having it yet. Thank you so much, Popeye. Yeah, Aka Hot Stop, Dragon Lady, aka Hot Stop. <laughs> yes, I know. Thank you so much, Popeye. Harley Ray Ray, hello. Um, uh, my last name is Scottish. Oh, decent. Okay. I see. Cool. Very nice. Uh, kicking. Thanks. You're welcome. Now you are you have an obligation kicking with Ben. Welcome to the Muds Club. Yes. Uh, Paul Collins. Um, um, kicking with Ben. Papa, hello. Uh, Dabo Don. Welcome, welcome. Ba Dabo Don. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you, Dabo Don. It's been a long time. Thank you so much, Paul Collins. Ray Ray Love. Bye bye with Don. I'll kick it with Ben. Nancy Bear. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're not hitting the thumbs up yet, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And I appreciate that a lot. And welcome to the Dragon Ladies live streaming today. And I hope you guys have a wonderful and I appreciate you guys are here. And we're talking about all these cockroaches from the Philippines like that or whenever you guys see or here in the U.S. or whatever. But we're using the example in the Philippines like that, guys. Yes, exactly. And um, how are you? I'm good. How are you, uh, Nancy? How are you today? Yeah. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much. Yes, Kicking with Ben. Paul Collins, Nancy, uh, bye-bye. Dragon Lady, do you have any... A uh, bagoong and green mango. Um, I don't have that here. I probably do that soon in the Philippines. Yes. Shout out to 19 people in the house. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of you guys. Yes, I probably have that. I will go eat that soon as possible in the Philippines, guys. I love that stuff. Uh, Purple Jugs Cake can show me some love. Tony C. Harley for the blue update um dragon lady um say harley i would never steer you wrong yes exactly nancy harley hello uh purple nancy pinoy ahoy big if is in florida wow bigger than is that bigger than the philippines uh, ahoy pinoy ahoy bernie mabe kicking with pen harley tony i really dig dra i really dig dragon lady in all this fine people thank you so much harley thank you thank you so much i'm glad that you guys are here i appreciate so much guys that you guys are here yes nancy Eber, ernie help maker uh, bernie yes Dabo, oh no bago ong super bago <laughs> see uh Dabo, Dabo don't you don't like the bago ong and the dried fish everybody don't like those kind of stuff i know that you guys don't like that i know <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, guys. I know you don't like all of those. <laughs> but some people love it, you know. Um, Tony Patriot. But palmetto bugs are not really roaches. Oh, okay. So it's just a, is that a dangerous bugs or just a, you like, um, normal, just playable, you know. Kicking with Ben, peripheral through that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good. Thank you, thank you, TB. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're not having it yet. And I appreciate so much you guys are coming and for coming through. And I do appreciate you guys are here with me. I'm surprised. Yes, I do appreciate guys so much. Yes, yes. Um, Nancy Bird, come let be friends. Yes, guys. 
Pinoy. I think they are big in Florida. They are, are better there. I eat their better there. Oh, they eat that too in Florida? The, the cockroaches? Oh my goodness. Wow. Harley, uh, hello Ernie, hot maker. Nice to meet you. Fervogen, Nancy returned me. Mm, um, kicking, kicking with Ben is in Florida. Oh, so you have that also kicking with Ben? No, it's just, it's, no, just disgusting. That is disgusting to eat the cockroach and you oh god i i can't even just and there's the eggs you know there's the eggs inside oh god no thank you i'll i'll pass i'll pass with that um paul collins papaya uh, shiver me um timbers love kick and to <laughs> tony hello paul hi paul lipper why good to see you here thank you thank you thank you for coming through welcome to dragon ladies live streaming positive vibes i hate roaches dragon lady me too i don't like those so that's why i'm asking if you guys um have a big cockroaches in your house how big that is we example that in the philippines guys you have huge we have bigger uh cockroaches there too they're flying all over the place not only one because when they have infestation like the babies oh god yeah Rebel Dabo, hi, Harleys. I'm really trying to follow all of you. I miss you. I'm sorry. Yes, everybody. Yes, yes. Tony Pedro, no, supposed to ask for anything, everyone. Exactly, Tony. Just make sure you have to do the right thing. Yes, yes, everybody. We don't have to just ask or something like that, guys. You have to ask. We have to, uh, don't, we always have, remember, we don't have to ask it back. They know already what they're doing, guys. We have to avoid it. We have to avoid that uh, just like, you know, just follow me, whatever, or be whatever. No, we have to follow the rules, guys. We don't have to sub to sub. They eventually, guys, just join you and, and you know, watching you or something like that, guys. So we have to be like, uh, be careful with that. And I know this, I know the moderator will know about what they're doing. So you guys take care of it if you even see something there thank you guys for having uh for joining me today uh hell no flying ones are out of control yeah the uh, infestation with the uh, cockroach is a lot of them uh i once pulled a big cockroach much out in my shoes <laughs> yeah especially guys when it when it flies to our face oh god i'll be like mm, hitting everywhere and it's not only guys when we see one uh, cockroach in our house it's gonna be everywhere guys if we see one i know there's a lot of them so that's why when there's one we have to already just hit that you know yeah return me also Dabao. yes exactly um willie white good day dragon lady welcome willie white good to see you here again Dabao Dun and my wife my xy cook dried fish they once had to open all windows like many candles and say and say six hell many Ah, double done. You know what? What you should do, because you know when when I cook dried fish here, I go in a garage or sometimes you know and outside because the smell. I know the smell is really bad. See, whore five oh nine. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Paul Collins, Paul uh, Lipper. Yes, love, love, love. Kicking with Ben Willie White. Hello, Hodge Fudge. Welcome, welcome, Abu Hi. Good to see you here. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're not having it yet. And thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. You guys are all amazing. Yes, Paul Collins, Dragon Lady, you are very beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment and everything, guys. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate. Actually, I got my injection today, guys. I don't know if you can see, guys. It's right there. See? You see, guys? I don't know if you can see through. See? I got my injection today. Uh, that's going to be my last one. Because I got, guys, I know being a woman, um, they um, we have this HPB for, you know, um, ovaries, you know, like injection for, non, you know, for cancer and everything like that. So, you know, 
um, I have that done. And uh, thank you so much for that. Just let people know you got them. It's okay. It's okay. They know what that means. Yes, exactly, Tony. Exactly. Uh, I was like, Paul has fudge, Paul chick kicking has fudge. How do you fall? Cowgirls, creepy adventures. Good to see you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you guys not having a hit the thumbs up yet, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. And my papa, I want uh, one, a few of them have YouTube channel in the Philippines. Oh, really? Papa? Who's Papa? The one that came in earlier? Okay. Uh, Paul Collins, Ben, hello, friend, Willie White. Talking about cockroaches. When was growing up in Tennessee, we had uh, to put uh, saddles of them to ride. Wow, amazing, Willie White. And you're going to encounter that soon in the Philippines eventually. And you know what I'm talking about. And you're going to be, you're going to probably say like, oh, wow, these big cockroaches, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you're going to live with it and stuff like that eventually also. See her 509 Ernie oh come please yes uh, Harley um okay great people have to go love you all thank you so much Harley thank you thank you so much for being here and appreciate that a lot uh really wait to look Ben uh cowgirls creepy adventure thank you and you're welcome the road to 400 wow amazing you road to 400 any one of you guys if you're not having a check each other out you guys can check each other out and you know what to do just join the train guys yes um paul collins dragon lady i hope you are okay because we need people like you in the world thank you so much paul i appreciate that a lot thank you so much yes i i try my best to live and stop like that right every one of you guys because you guys are nice people yeah uh, dragon lady my cockroach stories are endless oh okay um cockroach stories are endless yes um i mean uh frank car hi pranks good to see you here hey dragon lady just jump in yes you just jump in thank you so much good to see you here so how's our weekend guys how's you guys weekend are you guys having fun? Are you guys having parties, visitors, cooking dinner, lunch? Good morning to somebody. It's wherever you guys from. You know, it's like good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Yeah. So good to see you here, Franks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. Cow girl, Benji, hey, Tony. Tony Petra is 20 away from 2K. Yay, 20 away. Oh, my goodness, Tony. That is amazing. That is amazing. So you're gonna have celebrating with that. Thank you so much for having for having you here. I mean, you're you're an awesome. You're an awesome. Yeah. Calgary's creepy three for four hundred. Oh wow, everybody. Yeah. Frank Car's going working this weekend. Work right now. Getting my business ready for the holidays. I know. So you guys are exciting again after the Halloween. I know. I know now it's gonna be um, Thanksgiving, right? The Thanksgiving's coming soon. Yay, yay, the Thanksgiving coming soon. Oh my goodness. I know you guys are exciting, but soon I'll be, you know, I'll be leaving pretty soon. Yes, Midwest Flex Arvest, good to see you. He's been working for 13 hours straight. Wow, Tony. Are you still working today, uh, right now, Tony? Oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, this is Paul Collins, Dragon Lady. Ha, ha, I had a cockroach in my butt, so I had to fall. Uh, that was the biggest cockroach I had ever seen. Okay, cockroaches ever you seen? Wow. I see, that's really good. What happened with that? I think uh, Frank's visiting. What happened? What did I do? Yeah. Maybe I click wrong one. Sorry about that, Paul Collins. I just think I click one thing. I don't know. I just <laughs> a glitch. Yes. Uh, Claudel, Claudel, hello. Okay. Claudel Entertainment. Good to see you off now. Okay. 
Good to see you, Claudel. Welcome. Well, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And thank you so much, guys, for having me, uh, for coming here, for coming through. Appreciate that a lot. I feel so hot right now. Maybe because the medicine, guys. Yes, the medicine probably. But lift you around. Hello, Lefty. Good to see you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, cowgirls, creepy adventures, prank card. I'm on your train. Yes, joining the train, guys. You guys joining the train, stuff like that. The prank card channel. Hello, CC. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, for coming through. Thank you so much. Appreciate that a lot. Uh, pranks. I used to collect cards when I was young. Yeah, everybody's collecting cards and everything. Yes, Parker, thumbs up. Na salamat, sister. Thank you so much. Ernie Hot Maker here at Parker. Yes. A uh, big uh, BJ lang ako, sis, ha? Hanggang matapos. Uh. Okay, thank you so much, uh, the Parker. Thank you so much. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you for being here and just visiting me. Thank you. Cowgirls, uh, Creepy Adventures, uh, Claudel. I feel so hot right now. I don't know what's going on, but... Uh, yeah, I just feel so hot. Yeah. Hi, maybe the medicine just affecting me or something. I have no idea. But um entertain I'm on your train. Yeah, exactly. So any one of you got cockroaches in a house or anything like that? Let me see this. Because this is like um kind of like so shiny on me. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. Uh Clodo, uh Clodo Entertainment at Cowgirls Creepy Adventures. Thanks so much, me too. I'm your house. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are amazing for being here with me. I mean, you know, just um yeah, the cockroach in the Philippines. I knew uh the Parker channel is a Filipino too. And I think she's married with Americans or something. I know she knows what cockroach is. It called that uh, in the Philippines. We call that an e piece and stuff like that. So yeah, it's gonna be big, you know, like in the Philippines. I know that. But um, um, of course, you guys said that in Florida they have that really big uh, cowgirls creepy adventures. You're awesome, a dragon lady. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, at cowgirl. I'm glad that you're here and thank you so much guy that you guys are here also and I appreciate a lot and you know Tony uh, mostly we have lizard and they eat all the crutches the roaches yeah Tony are you you're in Florida right uh, Tony so do you have do you have crocodile over there I love to see crocodile crocodile I love crocodile. I really do. But um, I knew some people, they have a pet for crocodile. I love crocodile. But cockroaches, um, extra protein. I don't think so, really, right? With that, with the lizard? No, I don't want to eat lizard. Those are pets. And those are too small, I think. Ernie have maker, we have a lot of a lizard and the frogs that eat the roaches. Our problem, our problem is an ants. Oh wow, I don't like ants. Cause I knew those are uh, it bites you, right? It bites you really bad with the ants. I don't like ants. Yeah, ants is not good. I think. Uh, really white hi at Clodo uh, cowgirls um at Parker Town I'm on your train yes everybody's on the train yes everybody yes we have crocodiles and the uh in the pond I fish in are they uh, are they um is that true that people when they say crocodile they eat they eat the crocodile I saw that like long time ago i think i saw that there's uh people they these people what they do is they get catching and they put some big chicken this chicken legs you know 
and they catch them and they eat and they make it crispy. I don't know where is this place that they sell crocodile or delicacy. And then the skin, they make it for a bag, you know. They make it for a bag. I, burn, I smash that like button. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Cowgirl Creepy Adventures. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. I love uh, alligator meat. Oh, you, you do? So where are you from, cowgirl? That's awesome. That is very awesome. Well, I think I tried it before. It's like it tastes like chicken. Yeah, it tastes like chicken. It was really good. I love it too, but I don't know here in the U.S. I never tried it. Yeah. Diamond Minor Events. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Dragon Ladies uh, live streaming afternoon show. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, good to see you here. Uh, yeah, New York. Oh, okay. So, uh, Calgar, do you have a, um, uh, do they sell a uh, meat of crocodile there in New York? I've never been to New York. Maybe one of, you know, someday I will go to New York to see what's in it uh prank so when are we all going to the philippines to step or on all the cockroach loon? i don't know <laughs> pranks if you're going there somehow someday you'll you'll know it yeah you can see a lot of that you'll see believe me but because guys pretty soon i'm leaving this month to go to the philippines and i'm gonna I'm going to do a live stream, uh, I hope, but maybe a video how big is the uh, the cockroach is. Maybe I'll do that for you guys so, so you guys can see how big because I knew some of you guys never come to the overseas yet. So so maybe one of that guys, I will do it, you know, for, the, for a video and you guys see how big is the cockroach is. Yes, uh, tall taste like moist chicken. Yeah, exactly, Tony. I think I tried it before, and I like it. It tastes really good, actually. It's juicy, tasty. Oh, my God, especially when it fried, you know. Oh, my God, just crispy. I love it. Yes, I love it. A dream to zero. I'm so embarrassed because I was on uh, another site earlier and I called her Dragon Lady Philippines. L -l -l -l. It wasn't you, you anyway. Hope you're doing good. Oh, okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much that you made it to come here. Here's the Dragon Lady right now, right here in front of you. Thank you so much that you come to to come today, right here. I'm glad that you made it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, uh, friends, they are uh, in people's homes on, or in the city. I think, Frank, they're all over the place. <laughs> in the Philippines. I mean, of course, in a hotel you cannot see, but they're cl they clean. But if you go to, like, walking around, you can see that. I mean, you know. Yeah, at Adrian to, uh, to zero lul. <laughs> you guys are funny. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah, that is cool. That is really, really cool. Hi, Ron. Good to see you here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. How are you? How are you? How are? Oh, how's everybody? By the way, how's your weekend? You know, I knew it's a good morning, good afternoon, good night, you know, uh, to some other people it's already night, morning to some, but to uh, some other people too, every country I know, and Claudel as uh, Jacob, we, we cop, okay. <laughs> um, Dirty Diaper, hello Dragon, I hope you are having a great day. Actually, I am because you guys are here, shout out to everybody's eating. Uh, 18 people in the house thank you thank you so much for being here you guys are amazing and um, I appreciate that you guys are here and just supporting me and showing you some support and love and time I appreciate that a lot and you guys are a wonderful people yeah you guys are amazing uh, future on um, 
Hey, Ernie, uh, cowgirl, it's 520. See that it's dinner for you, cowgirl, creepy adventures. So, it's, so what's for dinner, everybody? We just ate for lunch, you know, because it's right now it's like 2.21 p.m. here. So uh, we just ate lunch, so we don't have dinner yet, you know. I'm doing good, Dragon Lynn. That's awesome. So you have, so I knew a lot of people have day off today, right? You have day off because, um, you know, it's a weekend. Wild Orbis, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to see you here, Dirty Diaper. I'll be, I hit the 36 likes for you. Thank you so much. Um, Dirty Diaper, thank you so much. Claudel Entertainment, a dragon, do you speak uh, French? Uh, no, I don't, I, I don't speak that. Uh, but I speak my language in the Philippines, with, which is Tagalog. Some of them are Visayan. There's a lot of languages there. But I don't speak French. I wish. That would be awesome. Sanron, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you haven't that yet. Thank you so much. And for that support, thank you so much that you're here. Thank you. Uh, cowgirls, creepy adventure at Jacob. Wake up. I'm riding your train. Uh, Jacob, yes, Jacob. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yes. Um, hi, Murad. Murad, good to see you here. Thank you. Welcome. Good to see you here. Thank you so much, Murad. So, how was your day? Are you still planning to do a paranormal haunted houses or anything like that? Murad, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Cowgirls Creep Adventure. Shout out to everybody in the house. You guys are wonderful. And thank you so much for being here with me. Appreciate that. We're, it's like we're joining the bus. We're going to the bus tour bus. You know, everybody's coming. I'm waiting. It feels like I'm a driver. <laughs> waiting for everybody's coming. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to everybody, 20, 22 people in the house. Thank you guys so much. Um, uh, cowgirls, Orbis, I am riding your train. Yes, exactly. Nang TV, uh, hello, everyone. Good to see you, uh, Nagis TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Shout out to you as well. Shout out to everybody in the house. Shout out to all of you. And I do appreciate that for coming through next weekend. Whoa. So what's your de uh, next de uh, destination, Murad? You're all over the place now. You're like a ghost hunter. Yeah. You're all, all of these ghosts, you know. So cowgirls, uh, I'm riding your train. Yes. I'm beauty uh, buddy Dorcas D. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to see you here. Thank you. Welcome to the Dragon Ladies live streaming uh, afternoon. Welcome, 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 guys. Thank you so much. Uh, drone effects with Claude. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you haven't that yet. And I appreciate that a lot. You guys are fantastic. Yes, fantastic. So, do you guys have a big cockroaches in your house that you guys been? Because I knew in the Philippines we have a really huge cockroaches. And if you guys have cockroaches in your house and how big it is. So <laughs> compare here in the U.S. I don't know. I've never seen a big one yet. But I knew in the Philippines they have huge. So to, I would like to compare some cockroaches all over the place. Which one's bigger? You know, the bigger cockroach ever I've seen in my life. Yeah, and I know a lot of people, they have cockroach in the house, but not that huge. I know that. But I know there's no perfect house that there's no cockroach. I know some of them they have, you know, I know that. So, but a lot of people just like, um, you know, a lot of people, they just come and then uh, come into the house, that infestation. I know some of the old, especially some old houses nearby the trees and everything like that. I know that for sure. Hello, I'm Murad. Hey, beautiful host. Thank you so much, guys. I just hit, yeah, thank you. Congratulations for, congratulations, cowgirls. I'm, uh, I'm great. I'm so happy that you just reached that. Congratulations to you. 
Murad, the little dragon lady. <laughs> yeah, Murad, you're you're so cool, Murad. I really like that. I, you you know, every one of us were just gonna be <laughs> laughing and everything, and no cockroaches, <laughs> no cockroaches. Yes, if you get just go to the Philippines, Murad, you'll see the big cockroaches. Believe me, there's a huge cockro uh, cockroaches in the Philippines. It will fly in bites. They bite, yeah. Um, will this orbis in the Philippines? The, the roaches are not even afraid of people. Yeah, they're not. They're just flying all over the place, and they got a bite. They bite too. It hurts. Yeah, and you know, I'm I'm gonna do an all night investigation at the abandoned brothel and a blindfold challenge. Oh my goodness, are you serious, Morat? I can't believe you're so strong with this all this spirit. It's, it seems like, you know, you don't care about all these hunted or demons or whatever. Oh, my goodness. Cowgirls creepy. Thank you. Nagisi Murad's Hunted Adventures. Uh, Wild Orvis. <laughs> Tony, people are in, embarrassed to say yes because people think you're dirty if you have roaches. Uh, to be honest with you, yeah, I, I believe with that, Tony. Some people, they don't. But... In, in our house before, we have cockroaches, really. We have. And you know what we do with that? Oh, God. When my sleeper, I've been doing that. Even though we spray a lot of things, there's still. Because I know there's babies. They say when we have one piece, I know they're all over the place. Because they have making babies, babies. And then we see some eggs. Yeah. I knew a lot of them. They have that. In the Philippines, guys, really. Um, we have that a lot um i'm back from the kitchen yay welcome back bernie mabay welcome welcome shout out to 23 people in the house willie really, white train the mosquitoes to eat there or you could make uh, pits of them yeah exactly willie really white exactly willie really white lift yeah around lefty train uh the, the largest uh, wicked cockroach uh, found in Peru, Ecuador, and uh, Panama. I just uh, Google it. Oh, really? The biggest one? How big it is? Um, Lifty. Wow, I never, I, I didn't know that. That's a good one. Yeah. They have in Peru. Oh, God. In Panama? Uh, wow. I can't believe that. Nagi Steve Creepy uh, <laughs> Adventures. Wild Orvis, stay blessed, everybody, brother. Um, Murad, once uh, people get to know me, they love me. Exactly, Murad, exactly. Everybody, everybody. We're just like loving everybody, yes. Because you're very, very nice and cool and love adventures, you know, like all these goals, you know, especially. Congress, I am doing a live stream tonight and on Tuesday. I am doing a uh, overnight cemetery. Oh, cemetery. And Pioneer some that was first. Uh, whoa, tonight oh, I'm gonna watch that. Uh, cowgirls, I'm gonna watch that. When I was watching Murad, when that time I was like, I don't want to put my name in it, but I, I hit the thumbs up. I'm gonna watch all the all the way. And it was funny because it's a Sarah, what Sarah, and then I heard like, a, Get out, what are you angry? <laughs> that was like, Oh my god, this is creepy, but. You know, everybody's like, oh, my God, even Joker. <laughs> Call Joker's name, my God. Listen, Will, shout out. Uh, Sanron, Sanron. Yes, Murad, I am uh, afraid of no ghosts. I know, you're so, you're so strong. I can't believe that. I can't believe that, Murad. Yeah. Bilma Bendo, hello, Dragon Lady and everyone here. Welcome, welcome, everybody's in the house. Thank you so much for staying with me and coming. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're not having it yet. Thank you so much. So what's for dinner, Bernie Mabe? It will cockroaches because you can kill them. Yes, we can. But and then we can, we have to do the spray, the, sp sp the spray, like bygone or whatever for that. Uh, Nagis TV, uh, Beauty Dukas D. Listen well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that a lot. You guys are here, 21 people in the house. And you guys are fantastic. And oh, my goodness. So are you guys uh, cooking dinner right now, everybody? 
Yeah, I guess that Tony Patriot, listen well, hey Cloud, and Vilma Benzoy, and riding on your train, listen well, BWW, hi Dragon Lady, welcome, welcome, BWW, very, very nice name, BWW, it's like BMW, it's like that, it's like a BMW in a house, yes, Lefty, the largest found and preserved is 3.8 inches, wow. 3.8 inches oh my goodness that's huge that is huge nagis tv gem claudio um listen well already in your house cowgirl i just ate okay so what did you eat cowgirl oh my goodness everybody's eating dinner lunch you know some of them breakfast yeah because it's morning afternoon and night dinner time listen well going to go to barbecue uh join it soon oh my god barbecue what kind of barbecue chicken wings i love barbecue wings i love um pork barbecue i really do especially with the skin and delicious and oh god you know those crispy crispiness oh my goodness guys you're making me hungry but we just ate but thinking about dinner oh god oh my goodness um broad words uh murad i have i've been doing it so long i i rather debunk and try to prove it's not real than see everything is real but there is a lot of things i can debunk oh okay murad all right murad yeah this is like um you know some people does you know so it's kind of sad uh kitchen well uh pulled pork sausage oh wow that is yummy sounds yummy my wife probably get the chicken what was that chicken legs chicken breast or chicken the whole chicken legs or the wings i love the bar you know why guys i do love the barbecue wings because I like to do this kind, you know, the bones, licking it, you know, like that. But, uh, you know, I don't like the breast. The breast is kind of like not good for me. I don't like the breast that much. But um, I like it, the chicken legs and the wings. Those are the best. And the thighs, yes, those are yummy. Um, let me see Cloud Entertainment and probably get the, ch the chicken. It's a breast or leg. Ah, I think I like the legs better. Legs is, is, is great, I think. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like I said, for the chicken, I love, but I do love pork. You guys love pork? I do love pork, especially barbecue, because there's a lot of things we can do for the pork, especially in my country. We do cook a lot of pork that, because a lot of people can afford the beef because beef is too expensive, you know, just for that, for barbecue. But we do love that, yeah. Yes, oh my goodness. Listen, well, you're making me hungry. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump to the plane and go to your house. <laughs> I'm going to jump to the plane, get my luggage because it's ready there right now. And then I jump there and hey, listen well, open the door. I'm right here. I'm hungry. That would be awesome, right? If you have power, just quick going to your house. Every house is of all of you guys. I'm gonna be there and checking it out. What kind of food you have? <laughs> Somebody got cake, you know, cupcake or whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe uh Bernie, maybe I'm doing um riding your train. Yeah, so yeah, even here, guys. Even here in our house, guys, we have uh, cockroaches, you know. But, of course, we spray them. And then, of course, in a garage, usually, you know. So, we just kill them. You know, I'm not I'm not scared of cockroaches because even if it flies, I will hunt that, you know, the cockroach. I don't care about that, guys. You know, if they fly, I will get that. But, um, you know, just some people, they scared. They, they run, but me, no. If I see that, oh, God, I'm going to, uh, you know, chase that. I'm going to chase that cockroaches. So, Because I was born, I was born in the Philippines, and we have these cockroaches all over the places. But sometimes, you know, I know it's kind of dangerous because it's big. But we don't really, like, I've never been, like, uh, scared with cockroaches. Even rats. Even rats, guys. There's a wild rats. And they're running around, guys. Oh, God. You know, I'm, I will hunt that. I'm, I get the bat. 
you know, stick a bat and hit that. The rats, a bat from the canal or something, you know, from sewer or whatever. Oh, yeah. We're going to, you know, I say, to me, I don't care about that. So I, I'm not really like, oh, I'm going to run like that. No, I'm just going to have to hunt that. I'm not scared of that kind of stuff. Probably snake. Probably snake, I will run. But, you know, with the rats and cockroaches, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not afraid with all of that. So, you know, that's why um, too cold for us to have a horrible cockroaches problem. I think, I, you know what, what's funny? When I, when, you know, when, what, what's funny because in cold, in winter, I think they're sleeping. You know, I, I have no idea. I have no idea the cockroach sleeping in a cold, in a winter. And then it comes to summer, they're coming out, you know, so they're sleeping for all those months. Unbelievable. That is a long sleep. So I think they're scared of cold weather. So that's why they're hiding and stuff like that. So, you know, but in the Philippines all night long, there's no winter. We don't have the winter. So it's all the same. Sometimes there's a, a rainy season. Oh, rainy season. They're, they're um, rainy season. They're all out. They get out. They're flying all over the place, that cockroach. Some, you know, sometimes they hide. But in a win in, in, we don't have winter. So we, we just only like uh, rainy season and summer, you know, like that. But no winter in the Philippines, yeah. Um, hi, Dorian Webb. Good to see you here. Thank you so much. It's road time raid. Wow, I got a raid? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Whoa, amazing. The LS Crow raid. Jessica uh, Bolding. Hello, welcome, welcome. It's road time raid. Oh, my goodness. I can uh, heal it. A uh, straw raid. Oh, wow. It's road time raid. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Ernie Hat Makers. I'll check you out in a few at Nuggets. Yes. Uh, copy bag. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Straw time raid. Oh, my goodness. Thumbs up to straw time. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much for that. Uh, listen well. The LS Crow in the house. Uh, Sandy Mas. Uh, sa Masinalti, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate that a lot, the LS crew. We now family. Yes, we are family everywhere. Oh my goodness. Shout out to everybody. It's show time, Red. Thank you so much, show time. I appreciate it so much. That is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. The uh, show life. Hi, Dragon Lady. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for doing this to me. I appreciate that a lot. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Um, Dorian Webb, woohoo! Thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing, you guys. Irene Manuel F uh, FHW, good evening, um, house. Yes, good evening to all of you guys. Thank you so much. I can I can heal it. Um, heal it. I hate uh, 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 Doritos now. Why do you hate Doritos? What happened? Uh, Kim, Strothan, thanks, true family, for the raid. See you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys, for having you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Cowgirls Adventures through time. I'm uh, riding your train. Um, Use live stream, uh, live stream TV gadget. Anak, love you. Shout out to you. Shout out to everybody's in the house. Shout out to all of you. And thank you so much for stopping by. And I appreciate that a lot. You guys are amazing. Shout out to you especially. Mama, maraming salamat sa pagpuntain. Thank you so much. A lot. Hi, Alex. The Bloomin' Review and Gamer. Hey, everyone, a dragon lady. Good to see you here, guys. Thank you so much. Um, Kim, um, BC, I, I choked on a piece of the Doritos, and then I threw up. Oh, my God, Kim. Be careful with that. I knew Doritos are so sharp. It's, it's very sharp. Sometimes I got my, uh, I got hurts my, my gums with that because it's, it's too, uh, it's really, really uh, sharp with that. Yeah, Kim, and now I feel sick. Sorry. 
I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better with that. Thank you so much for stopping by and here. Here's the live stream at Claudio Entertainment. Um, here's the live streaming. Irene Manuel Epichem. Yes, Alex the Blue Man. Hello at uh, Sir Manuel Epichem. I'm Alex. How are you today? Actually, I'm good. Thank you so much. Uh, we just came home in about um, you know an hour, and then I got I got my uh, live streaming because I said. We just uh, went for a lunch, you know, went for lunch, and then we come back. And then uh, I was thinking to do it, you know, just live streaming earlier because I knew. And then there's a lot of things that have to be done today. Thank you. You're welcome, Kim. You're welcome, Sandy. Uh, hi, Sandy. My Sinalte, looking forward to check you out, channel. Any friends of Shrew Time is part of my family. Welcome, you guys. Thank you so much, guys. That you, I'm a part of your family now, too. Thank you so much for welcoming and stuff like that. Thank you so much, Kim. And Cowgirls Creepy Adventures, always. I'm uh, riding your train. You guys are fantastic here. I appreciate that a lot actually you guys are very very nice you guys are very very uh, amazing people yeah um sandy mazalit uh, hi jacob good to see you here guys thank you thank you so much guys camille okay, i just got it through um um you guys see live streaming yeah everybody's here you guys are fantastic thank you so much that you guys are here you guys are you guys have a cockroach in a house? Are you guys have a cockroaches? You like and so thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Um Sandy, thank you so much, thank you. You guys are, are um we have a uh, cockroach in the Philippines. I don't know if anybody of you guys been to the Philippines yet, but yeah, we're talking about cockroaches and if, and I knew a lot of people have cockroach and I knew a lot of houses guys all of the houses that we've been guys I knew there is a cockroach and I don't know if there's a house that no cockroach eventually there is but I knew sometimes because our houses always have nearby the sewer and stuff like that I knew that for sure so when people said oh we don't have cockroaches or whatever like that I knew that there some of them because it's new but eventually somehow you're gonna have a cockroach also someday but yeah in the philippines even in our my sister house we have a lot of cockroach guys and all we have to do i'm not scared of that i'm not scared of cockroach or rats and everything because if i see them i will hit them i don't care you know but some people also guys they eat the cockroach do you like to eat the cockroach guys some people does because they make it like crispy you know crispy like uh crackers you know some people does so yes there is so big and irritating exactly the, the cockroaches yes especially you know the rats yes copy bag we had a cockroach in the bathroom last night i just like those ugly bugs yes and then some of them guys they just bite they, oh my god they have a big nose and stuff like that they they bite yeah guys uh funny i sleep off freezing my phone oh irene what happened yeah sandy where do you live dragon lady i'm from uh vancouver british columbia canada uh right now i live in las vegas guys i live in las vegas wow vancouver canada very nice very nice uh, sandy amazing nice place canada him he will ew yeah some people they eat yeah they eat the cockroaches i rather to starving myself to eat the cockroach would you oh my god no i'm not gonna eat that but anyway ernie i mean it was hungry enough i would eat anything <laughs> oh really ernie you are gonna eat that so you know guys do you know guys survivor series like in the tv show I do love that show, guys. I was thinking long time ago to to join that the Survivor series. I was thinking. I knew it will be starving everything. People don't know what to do. I know how to go fishing also to dive and everything like that. Yeah, I was uh, I was growing up by the nearby the sea. We always swim, swim, swim. So yeah. 
Jacob, wake up. Um, wow, eating them is so crazy. A lot of them, they eat, Jacob. Actually, they do. Yeah, if you go in Thailand, they, they fried that. They fried it. They said it's a clean cockroaches, but hell no. I'm not going to eat those. Cockroach. Oh, my God. Those are nasty. Yeah, the cockroach. I had a cockroach in my laundry room today. And oh, my gosh. And my mom made me get it. And it was uh, it was alive and scream. <laughs> oh, my God. Kim, you have to spray it. Spray. Yes, cowgirls, uh, coffee bag. I'm in New Zealand. Wow, New Zealand. Oh, my goodness. From New Zealand. Everyone is awesome. Thank you, Stro Time. You're you're amazing. Sunny, I live in Vegas for six months. Oh, Charleston and Nellie's. Wow, you live in Las Vegas before? Wow, that was awesome, Sandy. So why did you move? You don't like Las Vegas now? Or you just come here for just vacation or something like that? Yeah, my um, game haul it. My school has really strictly big juicy cockroaches. And when I step up and they have water come up. And <laughs> that is true, Kim. It was really nice. And there's white thing also there. White. There's white. I don't know if it's the eggs. I don't know what it is. The white thing is I always do that, you know. Ernie, uh, help make a survivor in fear factor. Uh, those shows gross me out. Oh, yeah. It's like really it's gross. They eat. Would you like eat the, the lich, you know? Oh, God. People, they eat. Oh, God, and you eat it. What happened to come into your stomach and stuff like that? Oh, God, I don't want to eat all of those. I'll be trained up all over the place, really. Uh, Sandy, uh, what's in it? Alex, uh, do things. So I'm very, very well. Um, I'm uh, ill, and today I was a uh, cough day. Oh, sorry to hear that, Sandy. I hope you feel better because it's cold weather right now, guys. Shout out to 24 people in the house. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for being here with me. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Appreciate that a lot. Uh, Kauger, does, not, does that mean you adventures? I supported you. Sandy, thank you. Falsline. Yeah, yeah them. And say, hopefully, it'll get better. Yeah, I hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, you feel better. Yeah. Everybody, because it's cold weather right now, guys. I know there's a allergies flu cold flu i i have a shot of flu and then i have a shot today guys i have a shot of you guys have a hpb you guys have a hpb i know a lot of women in the in a house a lot of women you guys have a inject uh have a injection for hpb because i have three times now i have the two one in the philippines last year this year and then now today i got it i got right here guys and this it hurts like Oh my god right here you know i got it today and i have to rub this with cold and stuff like that so this is that's what we did today guys i have right there but maybe these are okay now i still have the bandage and stuff like that but i have the hpb uh this is my third time now third time so you know because people they say uh the doctor told me that i can have that hpb so we uh yeah hpb is not only for women but men can get it too oh, okay so i got that and you know for you know it says the cancer and everything for like that blah 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 so i got that hpb so you know i uh yeah it's kind of like a hurts today but uh yeah yeah i have that so i'm glad that that three times what is it it's the hpb it's like um what was the meaning of HPV? I forgot. Like uh, for, you know, I think for, uh, what was the meaning? You guys know what's the meaning of HPV? I have no idea. I forgot. <laughs> Colors, Lars, B, good to see you here. Thank you. Thank you. I think every one of us guys, we can have this. I think this is for safety -ness. You know, I think. Yeah, I think. I have no idea. Um, Kim, no, sorry is needed. God knows. That's um human uh papoyo virus. Yes, yes, you're right, Ernie. I'm glad you're here, Ernie. Thank you so much. I got that. 
and you know uh, i have done uh, two uh two injection in the philippines when i was there because i got my pap smear and stuff like that guys before there and i have this this is my third time now so i'm done so that's it three times and you're all set you know with all, all of these things so you always have to be careful and stuff like that and then the doctor i talked to because i'm not allowed doing monogram ma mammogram right now because i'm not 40 years old so i have to wait for three three years to do that yeah uh, could lead to a cervical cancer yes exactly so that is a um you know for uh, i mean protect the cervical cancer right for cancer and stuff like that yeah i'll be back i'm too old to get the job human uh papilloma virus okay so how old are you copy bug i like your name dickens beer reviews hello welcome 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 thank you thank you thank you 24 people in the house shout out to every one of you guys appreciate that you guys are here and uh, yeah i have done that so i always be careful myself guys i always wanted to be like healthy i always wanted I always do have always just going to the doctor check every year like we have all of this kind of stuff for us guys because if you wanted to live longer you know just we have to always have to be like careful right careful ourselves to just you know taking care of ourselves you know being like that because I would like to live longer in my life so yeah uh donna blando hello welcome welcome thumbs up thank you so much for the thumbs up appreciate that a lot Appreciate that a lot, Donald Blando. Uh, Jacob, wake up. Hello, po. Hello, too. Hello, too. For two, po. So, everyone, yes. Dickens, uh, beers. Uh, the colors, uh, the cockroaches are big in Georgia and South Carolina, too. Um, palmito bugs. Yeah, that was uh, Tony. Tony told me that that they have the palmito bugs. I don't know what's palmito. I have to look that up what kind of bugs is that is that biting that guys the palmetto uh is that like biting or biting you guys to bite people or just like whatever um sandy uh, i don't qualify for any transplant be because i have terminal ca what terminal cancer and the liver failure is so severe do you have cancer oh my god i'm sorry to hear that sandy Kim, are uh, you dickest? Color is P. Oh my God, do you have cancer? I'm sorry to. Uh, Philip Ino TV, shout out, Dragon Lady, hello everyone. Shout out to you. Shout out to 26 people in the house. Philip, Philip Ino TV, thank you so much for stopping by. Do you have a cancer? Um, yeah. Sorry to hear that. Frank's card corner take care of your health will make life easier uh, in later age yeah exactly i have tried to take care of myself franks because i'm 37 and of course i, I have a um i have a flu shot uh last month you know yearly i have to do that and then i have the hpv done and 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 also last this year guys last year the dog bite me in the philippines i got rabbit and rubbish and stuff like that for injection so you know the dog the neighbor dogs just blah 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 so a lot of that so yeah we always have to take care of ourselves guys like i said how are you uh wish me luck good to see you here wish me luck thank you so much thank you i'm good how are you how's everybody today how are you guys on sunday taught girl but bless you for the uh taught cough yeah copy but i'm i already have the virus in my system so i screwed i'm 29 and 39 they only offer eight to ten here people that have never had fun times i have two kids so clearly i have been there than that oh okay copy bug um hello everyone hi money uh money man uh, money man 228 yt 2289 white uh, 7 yt good to see you here sandy um yes dragon lady i have terminal bone cancer and liver failure and doctors why i have only months oh my god i have to pray for you sandy i'm sorry to hear that 
I'm sorry to hear that. I have uh, my prayers for you, Sandy. You're um, sorry. Sorry to hear that. Um, I'm 47. Uh, I ate right and exercise certain things you have no control over, but taking care of yourself helps prevent things. Exactly, uh, pranks. Exactly, you're right, Alex. The Blue Man reviews. I, Chagunle, I hate to go. I hate to go get a flu shot. Last month, I had to get a flu uh, shot last month. The aftermath as what I was scared of. What happened? Yeah, because flu is kind of big needle, right? Your sweet cowgirl. Yes, wish me luck. Um, it's overcast and cold in Chicago. Oh my God, Chicago is. I knew Chicago right now is very, very cold right now. Yes, Donald Jacob, wake up. Yes, Sunday. No, sorry. Um, you know. Um, yeah, I know. You're only thirty nine years old. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I I pray for you. I hope there's miracle. You know, some people they just say don't. Uh, always don't forget there's always a miracle guys there's always a miracle we'd never know guys we never know just like uh, but i pray for you and i hope you know you can you you can get uh live longer you know god knows what he's doing exactly sandy exactly so yeah thank you franks and um alex the blue man make my Dragon Lady, my arm feels sore and my face was overwhelmed. Oh, okay, so you're not used to it. I mean, the, the medicines reacts, uh, have reaction to your body, Alex. But me, I don't know. I got my HPV today and I, it hurts right now. This is very irritating because you told me this needs to be like moving, moving out. Oh, even right now, I cannot move because I'm trying because it's very sensitive right now. So it's gonna be like uh, probably two to three days before. So later today, I will rub this with a cold or something, warmer, whatever. So it needs to be rubbed. But right now I need to just sit like that and you know, just whatever. If it touch, it hurt, you know? So yeah, it's, it's uh, yes, everybody pray for Sandy guys. Everybody, uh, Southbound says that. Copy bag. It's springtime here. So nice sunny day. I'm sorry to hear. And you're only 20, uh, 39 years old. That is very, very, um, it's frightening, you know. It's, I'm sorry to hear that. And you have two kinds. Oh, my God. I am sorry. Uh, pray for you. I hope you, you feel better. Yes, Steve Benoit. I hope you guys, and I, I knew how that feels. And you have kids. That is really, really bad. That is really, really sad. You know, I'm a stubborn person. Oh, I want to go down easily. Uh, yes, if we can fight, guys, like I said, do not give up. Just keep fighting. Because even though what happened, guys, you know, like if we have the problem, we don't have to give up. We have to fight for. And who knows, guys, there's a miracle. You know, like I said, there's a miracle. If there's a miracle there, guys, my God. And my prayers for you. I, I have my prayers for you, Sandy. And I hope that, because I know how it feels. How old is your kid? I know how it feels, you know. Yeah. Thank you so much, Astro Time. Thank you so much. That was very, very nice of you by doing that. So nice to see people still here from Raid. Love making our family grow. Exactly, the families grow. I mean, thank you so much for that. And then Sandy, it's kind of like still here, sis, ha? Naka, uh, on ka lang. Thank you so much, Sisi. I mean, to hear that Sandy like that, it makes me sad because um, I'm a very religious person, guys. I am a very religious person. And... um. Trying to be nice to every one of you guys. It's the, the one thing I can do. It's like when I knew someone just in a bad situation, especially with Sandy, that she's dying is only months left. And then she have kids. 22 and 30. Oh, okay. So they're adult. Okay. 22 and 30. Wow. So, you know, it's, it's really um, 
touching. It's really touching because I'm glad that, you know, for myself, I'm taking care of myself all the time, stuff like that. But um, I knew how it feels, especially for your kids. Yeah, and then, yeah, I feel sorry for, but I'm glad your kids are already adult now. That would be sad, guys, if you have like three years old kid and then, you know, you have only uh, three months left. You cannot see your kids until they grown. That was really bad. But now, you know, like like they're old enough, you know. My 22 years old is a special needs. He's uh is out uh, 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 uh autistic. Oh, okay. Special kid. Yeah, special yeah, special kid. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sandy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. All I can heal for you is to pray for you and your family. I hope they feel better. I hope they feel better. And um, prayer for you. And I hope there's a miracle. Cowgirls, Creepy Adventure. Wow, guys. I'm going to cry. You all have made me day, my day. I thought I would not get it for honor, but now I am for honor now. You're, you're awesome, cowgirl. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're con congratulations to you. I mean you know jacob wake up hello guys good morning everyone good morning to you jacob and you know like i said guys you know just being you guys here with all this um every one of you sharing all these things from the people it's it's amazing guys amazing because when you guys share that to me it touched me that is very touching because when you see when you know people that like that it makes me like i would like to cry I am the person that easy to cry, you know, when there's something, some people, I, I believe, and I knew people that are in a bad situation, it's easy for me to cry. But I know how it feels, you know, I know how it feels. Yeah, but uh, he will be well taken care of, and I, I feel physically horrible, but mentally and uh, spiritually feel fant i feel fant fantastic that's awesome you have to be fight for that and i knew a lot of people when they have that kind of stuff um they don't care they're just leaving whatever just uh, you know keep fighting yeah yeah get keep you know keep fighting like that so yes so um you know like i said you know every one of us we can have this spirit and you know people we just sharing you know thoughts and everything and i'm so glad guys that you guys are here and being here and uh, sharing that to me it's amazing you know how amazing that is you guys sharing all this kind of stuff and then you guys here and you trust me sharing that it's like a family for me guys it's like brothers cousin everybody friendship you know sharing to me i appreciate that a lot yeah, I appreciate that a lot. And like I said, you know, just um, I'm so amazing. We are glad you are here. Thank you so much, uh, Stephen Benoy. Thank you so much for that. I mean, um, people, you know, I, I'm so lucky, guys, because with this YT, before, you know, we're just in the house, we didn't do nothing, blah, blah, blah. But now when we met some people all over the place, it's really amazing, you know, live stream dragon lady. This is an amazing live stream dragon lady. Thank you so much, wish me luck. Um, thank you, thank you so much. And I knew a lot of people here just, you know, sharing thoughts. It's just knowing people, you know, where you are, how are you, everybody, lives, blah, blah, blah. Those are very, very, uh, you know, um, I know it was very, very surprising. It's like people sharing out and it makes me like so happy person, you know, happy person. Because actually i never been like this before a long time ago, but I step it up myself. That's why in my intro, guys, I said, um, I'm nervous because I'm nervous. I never do this in public and everything. Actually, I'm a very shy person long time ago. And uh, I didn't, I'd never talk to anyone. But then become because of this white tea, I become like step it up myself. Okay, I will step it up there. Even though I'm shy, I'm doing that, my intro, like, hi, I'm Dragon Lady, a.k.a. blah, 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 Dragonfly, whatever. So, you know, 
And then amazing. It turns to amazing that meet all of you guys all over the place. And wow, it's just wow, you know. Um, Uchi, Nuisi, hello. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it is like, um, you know, I, I really appreciate, and, you know, everyone is like Philippines, Japan, Korea, you know, all over the place, all over the world. Got to, got to go. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much, a copy bag. I mean, guys, I will check you out later. I will check you out later because later on, who's the, and don't forget, guys, if you're not friends with me, just, you know, join my train and don't forget, you know, just if you guys not friends with me yet, just don't forget to just join me and I will go back to you guys as well. I'll check you out, guys, later. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you so much, yes. And I appreciate, guys, you are here. Oh, thank you, Uchi. Yeah, I mean, you know, just people are so nice, so very, uh, it's like I'm special, you know, like you guys, everybody just appreciate a lot that you guys here. Appreciate so much. I do. Um, yeah. Bye, copy bag. Yes, I hope you have a wonderful day and dinner. Yes, I hope you guys, but um, I mean, guys, in um, in two weeks, guys, in two weeks, that's why I'm doing my live streaming every day. I should have not done, but the reason why I'm doing this, guys, because uh, I'm going to be in the Philippines pretty soon. Um, um, uh, cockroaches in Puerto Rico and they fly. Yeah, so are you... Um, yeah, in Puerto Rico, but I I think Lefty says the biggest cock, uh, cockroaches in the world is in Panama. Um, where's the other one? Ne uh, I, I don't know where's Nicaragua, whatever. They have the biggest cockroaches. I thought the Philippines are the biggest one, but um, they have that. I think in Nicaragua, I think. I have no idea. Yeah, so the biggest one is in uh, Panama and then some other places. Yeah, some other places. Um, Um, Madagascar, he saying cockroaches are huge. Uh, Mad Ma Madagascar, where's the Madagas Madagascar? Where's the Mad Ma Madagascar? Yeah, cockroach. Dan man, biggest in Congress. What is it, Dan man? Ochi, hello, everybody. I mean, the cockroaches, guys. Are you guys having a dinner, lunch, or breakfast? Dinner, lunch, and breakfast, guys. Yeah. Um, I know. Also, the rats. The rats, if you got rats, oh, God. I'm not scared of anything. I mean, I think I'm only scared. I think I'm only, I, I will be scared if, uh, I'm not sure. Just no. It says a Madagascar. Oh, okay, I don't know where's the Mad Madagascar though. Where is the Madagascar? Yeah, I think um yeah because are you guys have been to uh, overseas yet? Uh, overseas like you know. Wish me luck. Yeah, because I think a lot of people have never been. So yeah. Some people never been to outside in a, you know, like uh, overseas. And then in my country, they have that. 
one time one time you know um one time we just really we just just had we just have that and then um the rats actually i i beat one of them with a bat stick with a stick of the bat yeah a baseball bat i did that <sighs> That was huge. That was huge. That was like 2014, I think. Ah, 2013. When was it, hun? Yeah, 2013, I think. I'm not sure, but that those time I did it. Yeah. Um, big rats in New York and Chicago. Really? They have that too in Chicago? Wow. I guys, I never been. I never seen a rat since I was he. I was been here. For almost 10 years, I never seen a rat. Never. But cockroach, I, I have seen. And crickets, of course. Crickets are so noisy and blah, blah, blah. We have a lot in here. But rats, never. I never seen a rat yet. But if I see, you know, I knew it's in a house. I would chase that out, you know, because rats is bad, you know. But, um, yeah. I have been overseas military, brat. Oh, okay. So you've been. You've been. So are you married? Is Stephen Benoy, are you married with a Filipina? Maybe. <laughs> are you married, Benoy, with a Filipina? It sounded like. Are you? Maybe you are married. Yeah. I've been to um Sandy my, Sandy. I've been to Barbados. Barbados. The British Virgin Islands and New Orleans uh empty Florida. Oh okay. So is there a rats over there? Lul. No, Latina. Oh okay. All right. Latina, wow. So yeah. So where are you right now, uh, Stephen? Are you in um Brazil? Yeah. Or US like that. Um wish me luck. Wish me luck. You are very beautiful, dragon lady. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you. Creepy Explorer. Um what happened on good people? Oh my god, good people. Good to see you here, Creepy Explorer. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm good to see what's happening. I th I mean, like uh, Phil, um, the cockroaches. We're talking about cockroaches. Do you have a cockroach there in your house, Creep Explorer? It's still here, guys. Um, uh, uh, Uchi, yeah. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing, really. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes. Um Alex, one dragon lady, one of my parents let me in Mexico for a week. Okay. So are you in Mexico right now? Alex? Uh, Sandy, New Orleans have rats. I uh, have rats but they're in vacation. Canada. Yeah. All right. Who has missed me? Ha 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 ha. So, a creepy explorer. Do you want to come to the panel? Anyone wants to go to the panel? I will share the link, guys. If anyone wants to go, guys, if you want to go to the panel, I will give you the uh, the link. And um, now, creepy explorer, welcome to the panel. Cause yesterday you didn't. I can't hear you. I'm right here right now. You guys can see me. I mean, in the Philippines, guys, there's a lot of cockroaches over there. But then we, you know, 
yeah okay i can find my like okay i'll show i share this link anyone wants to come there you go yes right there anybody uh yeah <laughs> we're having fun today <laughs> we're gonna having fun guys <laughs> it's weekend everybody's everybody's day off nobody's working <laughs> so weekend time we're having fun talking about cockroaches but we don't have cockroaches inside the house guys we only have that sometimes outside in a fat walk we saw that here you know but uh, we don't have cockroaches in the house this house is pretty much new yeah filipino tv working here oh kuya too bad uh my mom told me dragon lady mexico has got dangerous there these days the last time i went there was six years old oh my goodness so i so you're not going back to the mexico now alex yeah steven benoy anzi yeah steven there you go yeah it, it's steven benoy you want to come to the panel you guys yeah you guys wanted to come yeah, yeah. i mean sandy would you like to come yeah anyone's welcome yeah we can talk a lot of things guys it's weekend we talk about roaches all these bugs you know that kind of stuff guys i knew but I, i'm curious about the uh, uh the bugs that tony and somebody just told about it i'm i'm curious about that what kind of bugs is that yeah um Stephen men i like uh <laughs> for now <laughs> yeah so you know like i said guys all of these things yeah um uh in Paranaque, when i go to the philippines uh lots of cockroaches in my apartment but i love my cute little home yeah it says you love your cute little home yeah that was really cool yeah it's like like i said guys you know i don't know where cockroaches come from really you guys have no idea where it's come from because here when we walk in the path walk in a road sometimes we saw them you know a little ones a little one but it's just a little but we don't have cockroaches in the house guys we don't have um this house is pretty much new yeah but sometimes when we walk by the garbage they have that there you know sometimes but um yeah we don't have that here we don't have in the house Steven Benoy, Ochia, thank you. Yeah, let me see if somebody, anyone wants to go to the panel and, you know, you guys wanted to share something, whatever. Yeah, it's a weekend today. It's Saturday. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Yeah. But I knew a lot of people co cooking dinner, you know, dinner and course, you know, like, breakfast but for me right now i'm still full right now because we ate in um asian yeah um you know we ate in an asian restaurant today but uh i'm not hungry <laughs> people maybe in thailand um i'm in nebraska heading to Oakland, california what is where is nebraska anyway uh steven beno where, where is nebraska where is nebraska hon i have no idea chalino sanchez hello welcome welcome thank you for the flowers thank you thank you so much for the flower um alice the blue man gamers and i'd like to see grandma but luckily since 2016 my grandma went and stayed at my my house oh okay so that's good that's good that you're here i mean yeah so if you feel like kind of different then you don't have to come back there alex the blue man yeah so where are you right now alex where are you anyway in the u.s yeah because chalino is a half um uh i think he's a half mexican half american chalino sanchez right chalino yeah i thought chalino is like filipino like me but I, you know, 
Um, still home so, uh, Texas. Okay, Texas. All right, Texas. Yeah, everybody. What was the guy uh, earlier? He's from uh, England. Uh, New Zealand. Yes, that was. I bet New Zealand right now is kind of cold. Uh, Mexican American, and I live in California. Wow, everybody loves. So, how's life in California? Are they expensive there? Sandy Masilati. Um, hi, Chalino. Um, are they expensive there in California? Because everybody says expensive in California. Everybody, but I'm not really sure. Very expensive. Wow. So which one is expensive? Yay, uh, welcome. Good to see you. You all right? Yes. What time is there? Early in the morning? <laughs> Early no, in the morning. No. Uh, 20, it's uh, 20 past 10 at night. Oh, so what time is that? Uh, it's like 20. 10. Uh, 11 o'clock, 12? 10, 10 30. 10 30. Okay, 10 30. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 10 30. Yeah. <laughs> I, I bet you're so cold right there. I can tell. <laughs> oh my oh, yeah, goodness, see. the baby's there. Oh my God. I so told you, I always, have, yeah. I always talk to him when I come first, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. the baby. Yeah. He's a cutie. So, yeah, so so he's sleeping there in your bedroom, the, the frame? No, no, oh. it's in the shed. Oh, in the shed. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. I can see the pillow there. He's, he had pillow and everything. Oh, yeah. That's no. awesome. They're, that they're old pillows. <laughs> he's up <laughs> on wall at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I would, if that was me, I would be like really creepy because I'm, like, I'm going there. <laughs> I'm surprised you well, don't have this um spirit, you know, like well, it, from in, him. in this shed, it's what one big shed, but it's uh, split into three different areas. It's got an outside toilet, this small little shed where the little uh, crying boy is, and then in the bigger part of the shed, that's where all the demonic is, uh, the divot box and stuff like that. So I'm keeping them away from all that. Oh my god! So you have three rooms for all of them. No, well, oh. I've got basically in time. It's going to be my YouTube room, so mm. two sex. So this area where it's got a load of crap at the moment, mm -hmm. that's going to be knocked through into the other shed. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the walkway. So he's 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 going to be staying there, mm -hmm. um, and then my YouTube room is going to be behind that wall. Mm -hmm. What you can see there, mm -hmm. it's going to get knocked through, and all the rest of it's through there. Oh wow! You have a so you have a gone. you have a huge house there. You have a big house. Hey? Yeah, big house. No, not really. Not, not really. really. Yeah. Three bedrooms. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. We don't have a we don't have that kind of storage either. We just only one one bedroom. That's it. Yeah. Oh really? We have, yeah. We we don't have that other room. It's just only one bedroom and living room, kitchen all over already. So you don't have to oh, go wow. side by side like that now. So I'm glad, you know, that baby is there. And then I knew he's still alive. Safe and I knew bed. he can hear everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, old you, how old do you think? Yeah. How old do you think that kid? How old do you uh, think? I, I don't think he was painted uh, as like a, a sculpture of a real boy. I think it was just a... An artist imagination to paint a, a boy, crying boy, um, because the painter is in the top right corner. Now there's only sixty three of them. What's been made, as uh, mm -hmm. in painted, actual painted. All mm -hmm. the rest are printed. Um, so that is actually painted. So I've literally got quite a rare piece there. Um, I mean, there's loads kicking around, but the rest of them. If it's not painted, it will be printed like a, a photo type thing. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, he's he's actually painted, and there's only there were only sixty three of them out of the whole world. What was actually painted? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's 
Yeah. So yeah, I don't I don't think he's actually based off an actual boy. I think it was just an artist um way oh, what he did. Okay. All right. So is his his parents is so must be the boy is kinda old now, huh? Kinda well, old. the paintings from from the start of it, I think it was um Back in the fifties, I think, when the painter started painting these crying boy oh, pictures. Oh, that was a long, long time ago. Yeah, fifties um, or sixties, something like that. Mm. Um, there's a, literally, if you go onto Google, if you put the crying boy painting, mm. history of the crying boy painting, it all comes up with everything that, everything you need to know, like the history, like the um, painter's name and where he lived and why he did it and mm. stuff like that. You see. Okay. I see. And the legend of uh, these paintings starting house fires that came around from when his very first painting uh, mm -hmm. he sold. Uh, well, sorry, not his very first one. One of his paintings, what he sold, um, mm -hmm. there was a house fire, and that was the only thing what was like not even charred. It weren't even burnt or anything. Was the painting? The whole house was gone apart from that painting. And that's where the legend from that these paintings start house fires. Wow. I don't know. I don't believe that, to be honest. Yeah. I think there's a lot of uh, people just, I knew, like, you know, a lot of people don't believe ghosts. Everybody don't believe. But I do. I really do. You know, because yeah. my brother, yeah. Not it's in each other own. What's that? It's each to their own. You know, I don't make people believe it is entirely their choice to believe things like this. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, on my channel, as you know, I've got non-believers. I've got um, people who's in between. I've got all sorts of believers on my channel. So I've mm -hmm. got a whole di bunch of different people yeah, uh, on, on my channel. So it's always good to find out different people's views and comments and everyone's respectful on my channel mm -hmm. you know even, even the non-believers they're, they're, they're still uh respectful they'll put their opinion across um and mm -hmm. to be honest everyone listens you know i mean i don't always put anything down to paranormal unless mm -hmm. there's literally no other choice or yeah. other possibility it won't be if that makes mm -hmm. sense yeah, right so, I mean, to me, before a long time ago, I already believe because um, a lot of people, if we tell them, they think that we're crazy, right? We're joking, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But then, of course, because they don't, they don't uh, believe on that. But I believe that because um, in my sister's house, there's a ghost there, you know. Mm -hmm. So, because one time when I was doing my luggage, I put my watch in front of my luggage because I'm doing, because I'm preparing, because tomorrow I will be leaving. So I was putting all my things there. In a minute, just a minute, my watch was gone. Somebody in my, in playing with me. Mm -hmm. So I was go downstairs. I'm alone. So I said, where is my watch? I was talking, I said, did you come up? But I'm alone in the room. And then yeah. when I come, when I come back, when I'm talking with my sister downstairs, when I go back and somebody put it back in front of me. So where that, you know, where that go, where that go, you know? Yeah. So I believe yeah. somebody there may be playing with me because I'm new, you know, like that. So yeah, I got creepy with that time. So, well, okay. All right. My sister says that don't worry about it because they're nice. They're nice. They're not doing oh, gosh, bad yeah, yeah. They just want they just want to obviously show you that they are there and Yeah, that they are uh, there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they're mm -hmm. just playing with you in a way. Exactly. You, know, they, you get a lot of trickful spirits like that. They don't they're not necessarily evil or mm -hmm. anything like that. You know, they just like playing with you, especially li little children, you know, they love uh sometimes running up to you, either kicking you or pulling on your coat or your uh, thing and then running away mm -hmm. just like what kids do today really right you know? and um it's just it's just the kids way but i'm not saying it's it's the kids what's doing it's kids what's doing that it it goes with any spirit really exactly so you know and then also 
another thing that um, when my brother passed away, not, not because of my brother just passed away with disease or like that. Mm -hmm. Actually, his, uh, his wife is the one mastermind to hire some people to kill my brother. So, mm -hmm. you know, my brother is only 29 years old. So that time when my brother uh, uh, died that night, Thursday at night, like 12 at night, so poor people just um, waiting for him to just walk because he across the street and walk, you know, alone. Of mm -hmm. course, everybody's sleeping. So in that in that road, every night he was saying, "Help me." He was mm -hmm. saying, "Help me." Until now, mm -hmm. so every people there when when it comes to twelve or one, there's a voice there that's saying, "Help me, please." You know, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's a it's a tricky one. To be honest, that's all what paranormal is. It's it's really tricky, and I've been studying studying it for eighteen years, and I've still not got know everything about it. I still learn things every single day. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one it's one of them things that I don't think the other side wants uh, people to know that there is a, another side yet. You know, and it's one of them things what will go on for many many mm -hmm. more years until. Um, mm -hmm. We know that there is something on the other side. Yes, that's true. And I knew a lot of people. I knew uh, a lot of people. Uh, they don't believe, but for me, to be honest with you, I do believe that. I really do because in this mo in this modern world now, and everybody's like you know, everybody says like even the psychic says there's gonna you know they can they can sense that something's gonna happen this year blah 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 maybe not in the state but some other places you know but i believe on that because they can see through you know so yeah and um even even in the philippines because philippines they they believe on that it's all about the uh super superstition you know so yeah. and then um i knew that even though my sister that keeps saying like oh do, do, because one time i say some shadow you know, like shadow, but it just come up like fast. Mm -hmm. I, I have no idea what it is. So I was, I was uh, scared to death. It's like, I said, Ate, Ate, and can you come here, please? It's like, what, what? Do you see the door was closing in and then there's someone coming out there? Mm -hmm. Ah, don't worry about it. It's just like, they're nice, you know, but, yeah, but they used to it like that now. But yeah, just not, not, not all spirits want to scare you, you know what I mean? They just want to be known, just like there was um, when there was alive, you know, they, they, they've died, no one can hear them or see them. So mm -hmm. a lot a lot of cases, spirit just wants to have that communication like they did when there was things. It's been that long since they had a proper communication with somebody, you know. And mm -hmm. um, you, you can't, I mean, don't get me wrong, you get quite a few negative spirits and, yeah. and that, but... Um, that there's a lot of spirits what's actually really nice and they just what they just want to have a communication a communication with you and that's all it is really <clears throat> yeah so did you ever just encounter like demons like a really demons like you know uh it's an odd one you can i can say yes but mm -hmm. it could it could just be evil, evil. um th there's a lot of cases where i would like to say it's demonic and stuff like mm -hmm. that but a lot of evil spirits can do a lot of damage and hurtful things as well mm -hmm. just as what demons can so it's it's a tough one to say have we just come across a demon or just an evil spirit mm -hmm. you know um it's very very difficult but i would like to say yes i have on a couple of locations but i would say i, I would more than likely say a lot of the cases has been uh evil spirits really. mm -hmm. yeah so i mean because people they have this um psychic you know i'm surprised you don't have uh, somebody with psychic you know coming well, I, I, been, I don't really use that side anymore oh. uh, i used to get i used to give readings over um a website called gone too soon Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a memorial website for people mm -hmm. to put up the loved ones. And um, basically, um, I used to do that side in on exploring as well. And my, son, mm -hmm. uh, my oldest son used to start getting scratched on him. So I just stopped it. And ever since then, I don't 
open myself up to that side. But I, I was born with the gift. I've always seen and spoke to spirit since I was basically born, really. Um, from as early as I can remember, I've, I've always had like a glowing white light around me. And, uh, you could, I've even got pictures. Well, I've not personally. My mother has got pictures of me having this like white light anomalies around me and mm-hmm. stuff like that, you know. Um, but no, I, I'm I'll basically I'm a lone ranger. I like doing things myself. I don't like getting myself tied down to a group. Yeah. So also, you know, I, I knew that it also in my country, uh, they are um they believe in this uh, witches because witches is very very powerful in the Buddha, you know, just yeah yeah yeah. So so are you are uh, popular there too with that Buddha and witches there? Voodoo, not so much. Uh, no, I'm not saying it doesn't happen over in the UK. It does happen, um, but it's not as well known as it is in most countries. Now, uh, mm-hmm. witches um, used to, obviously, witches was one of the things what happened in our past. There's a lot more <laughs> witches, uh, even today, uh, mm-hmm. black witches, white witches. The, the, there's a lot around, um, even today today's age um but obviously that was it that's part of england's um history Mm -hmm. witches and stuff like that um but yeah voodoo at first originated from cuba Mm -hmm. in case you didn't know and then originality yeah um, yeah if voodoo first originated from cuba and then obviously it went to africa straight after wow um so that that's where uh, it first originated from. Wow. So they just it spread all over probably now. So everybody knows all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Voodoo spread like wildfire. Um, but like I said, some countries hardly do it. Some countries do it more than often now. If mm-hmm. I said to anybody, where does it originate from? They'll always say Africa because mm-hmm. um, it, it's mainly, um, I would say it's, Eight times out of ten, it's mainly the black race what do the voodoo, mm-hmm. if that makes sense, without sounding racist or anything, because I'm not racist. But it, it's, it's normally the black race what do the voodoo side, because obviously it originated from Cuba. Uh, they're majority of the black race. Africa's majority of the black race. You know, it, mm-hmm. it's always originate, uh, come from around that type of countries. Now, if you go to Africa, it's freaking everywhere there. And it's uh-huh. same again if you go to Cuba uh, or Dominican. It, it's everywhere around there as well, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people there, especially in my country, they just um they said, oh, she's a witch, you know. They don't they know how to heal. They don't know how to put something in you. But you know, as like myself, I knew I I believe that, and I'm scared with that because they know what to do. Especially they say is that. Do you believe that they said that? Even in a picture only, your picture is something, you know, they can do something to you. Is that, do you believe on that? Well, strangely, you should say that. When, when I've been doing the Dibbit Box lives on my stream, people has been affected through my Dibbit Box when they've been watching. Some mm-hmm. people have, some people haven't. Um, but it, mm-hmm. it, because that is very demonic, what's inside that box, um, mm-hmm. Demons are very, very clever at manipulating um, mm-hmm. people. So it, they're very good at finding out who's got the most fear, and it will feed off that fear, you know. Oh, uh, this okay. Is, this is why it, it is best to go into a location, um, mm-hmm. what, like what I do. If I go to a location, you don't, you've got fear inside you, but if you don't show it and you, mm-hmm. you step up to it, then the less chance it's going to do anything to you. Um, mm-hmm. Because obviously it's not got nothing to feed off you. Mm-hmm. Um, don't get me wrong. You, you, your ass is blazing Paul Satan. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I know. Yeah, if you don't show it, it seems to be okay. Okay. But, but, but they'll well, do everything to try and get that fear out of you. And um, mm-hmm. yeah. they'll do absolutely anything necessary to get that yeah. fear out of you because they want to feed it, feed it off you. 
Yeah. So well, well, me, I just like I uh, don't have the, you know, maybe I will be strong if I'm go the um if ever I go something like that, I could be probably Jesus Christ, whatever. And then, you know, I don't have to be like, probably I show myself to be like, you know, I can do it, you know, just, I don't have yeah, to well, be. That's it. That's the frame of mind, yeah. And you've just got to keep to that yeah. frame of mind. It's all in your mind at the end of the day. Um, yeah. you've, you've just got to keep positive in your mind. As long as you know, you've mm -hmm. protected yourself properly. That, that That's yeah. all what counts really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I knew that people they said that if you do this kind of stuff like paranormal, you have you have to be full ready to yourself, committed, you know. Uh, well, right. Any, anybody can do the paranormal. Anyone can do that. It's whether you know what you're doing within it, if that makes sense. So if you've got a little bit of knowledge, that helps. But if you if you don't have no knowledge whatsoever, you could do something what will open doorways you don't want to open, and, because mm -hmm. it's very easy to do that type of thing when you even if you're just investigating, the slightest wrong words what you can say um, can open doorways which you don't want to open really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You just want to investigate what is actually there and not bring anything else in, if that makes sense. It's like when you're doing a Ouija board in a location, you got to know what you're doing with the Ouija board so you're not opening up mm -hmm. nothing else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I That Ouija board, I, do you ever do that for real? How many people do you think can play with that board? Um. I, I used to use it. I don't use it anymore because it's it's one of them things where it's not scientifically proven. Um, now, it, the Ouija board originated back in the 1800s. That's uh -huh. the f first ever uh, spirit spirit board, it was called then. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't use it much anymore. Uh, I'll probably use it once every so often, but I mean, I've got a about two or three videos that's it out of 288 what i've got uh where i'm using a ouija board um mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't like using them because you you've got to trust absolutely everyone around the board to start off with and if you know that it's not they're not pushing the book planchette mm -hmm. then bonus but if you if you've got that yeah i mean there's always that chance where somebody will push it you know and mm -hmm. say oh no it wasn't me it wasn't me so I, i'm more um wanting to use scientific equipment such as emf meters k2s um evp recorders sls cameras you know I, i'm all for using that more than the actual talking boards where you're getting other people to uh use that board you know yeah because the end of the end yeah. of the day if you're trying to get proof you you need to trust people 110 percent you know, yeah, um, that's, if you don't trust everybody, to that. that's it. I mean, if you don't trust everybody, then anybody can move that planchette and it'll be like, oh, look, there's a ghost. You know, yeah. it might not be a ghost, it might just yeah. be somebody pushing it and they just yeah. don't want to admit it. I agree, you know? yeah, they're pretending, they're pretending, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, and, and then a lot of people, they said, like, ah, the Ouija board is just a game now. They don't work so much. They're just bullshitting, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe because maybe because they just pretending, you know. Oh, somebody is right there in my back, right? But yeah. I think if you with somebody, like, the same as you, like, you believe of everything, you know, like, in your mm -hmm. team, whatever, that would be great. But if you just invited somebody and then just pretending the heck of it, but... Yeah. You know, just don't do it because it's going to be overrated and it's going to be, you know. Yeah, well, that's yeah. it. I mean, even if no one pushes it, if yeah. you don't know what you're doing, you can open that doorway, like I was saying, yeah. and bad things can come through that doorway. Mm -hmm. and yeah. It's the, it's the things what will basically, sorry for swearing, but fuck with your life big time. You know, yeah. and it's it's that type of thing you do not want to do. And this is the thing with Ouija boards. They have so much of a bad name. No one mm -hmm. use them. For right. one, people not using them properly, so they're opening doorways. Two, um, you, you can't really prove if it is anything. And three, mm -hmm. um, basically, it, the, the mis uh, it's due to the Hollywood film Ouija. 
you know. Yeah. Um, the Ouija, the Ouija film made it look so bad. It is unreal. Um, mm -hmm. Now maybe that's a good thing, you know. But people, yeah. especially kids these days, they'll get the, mm -hmm. they'll buy the board, especially in America, because you because you sell them in Toys R Us, because um, that's where I bought my first one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, they, they're going to get these things because they think it is just a game. Now it is, don't get me wrong, a Ouija board, it's just another communication device. You know, just like what a spirit box is, just what a K2 meter is, just what mm -hmm. an EVP recorder is. It's yeah. just another communication device. It's how you use it. Now you can open a door where you're using mm -hmm. anything. You know, don't get me right, it's so much easier to do it with a Ouija board, but you can open doorways up using any any mm -hmm. bit of equipment. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be with a Ouija board. Yeah. But some people, they said also that, you know, that is that the same with the spirit of the glass? Is that what it is? The G Ouija board? Is that what it is? What's that? Sorry. It is the spirit of the glass. When you do the glass. No, no basically what, what you're doing, you don't have to use a glass. Uh, okay. Some Ouija boards come with their own planchette. Yeah. Um, some homemade ones, people use glasses. Um, but what basically what you're doing is when you're putting your finger on, on mm -hmm. the planchette or the glass, you're putting your energy into that glass. So okay. the spirit can use that energy in order to move the glass or the planchette to wherever it needs to go. Our spirit. Our spirit. Yeah. No, no. Our energy. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. Because so that, that's all what a spirit is. It, it's the energy, basically. Okay. Yeah, because um, I saw I saw a lot of them. It's like in a thing uh, when I was like high school. Some of my classmates they they try to invite. Me. I said I don't want to do that, but the, but then they do it like it's a Halloween. Yeah. So I, I think one of them one of them one of my classmates they got this kind of uh, spirit, the bad one. Mm -hmm. And until now he's crazy now. <laughs> it turned well, him yeah. crazy, and and yeah. I don't know what's happening to him right now but uh yeah i mean that that could just be natural you know or it, it could it could have an effect from what he was doing with the boards yeah uh, so back in his day. you know you just you just don't know i mean it could just be natural it could just be mental health for his uh yeah. issues what he's beginning to have you know mm -hmm. because sometimes it's... mental health mm -hmm. only comes yeah. when you get older it doesn't yeah. always have to just spring on top of your light right. from an early age you know yeah. So because like like when when that time happened after and then he'd never go back to school anymore. And his parents came showing up and says like after he just did the Halloween Ouija board, he can remember his name, where's it from, blah blah blah. And after they don't he would just wanna like a kid, like a kid playing all this stuff, you know, like yeah. that. So what happened? I no and I'm glad myself I didn't join that. So everyone just got different kind of you know some of them like because they're like three of them so um one of them there's some kind of um problem also with the body i don't know what's the reaction they said it's the ouija board something that was long long time ago probably like uh, 15 years ago so yeah. uh you know and then um of course you know of course and then he didn't when, he, when they come to the school, they got like something like doing that and always, you know, doing the self like that. So I don't know what they do. So, so our teacher says like, because you guys, you know, all this spirit, you think it's, it's play up, uh, playing full. Just, yeah. It's just a joke. But what yeah. happened then the mother of that guy, the art classmates, just blaming who gave the Ouija board. I think that Ouija board is kind of old. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, if... if I mean, if you totally want to, you, you, if you can, get the Ouija board and mm -hmm. um, th send it my way. You know, I, I'll, t I'll take it off you because yeah. uh, what I've learned with nasty things such as mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be Ouija boards. Like I said, it can be absolutely anything what a spirit attachment has hold of. Um, right. you, you can't just burn them or you can't mm -hmm. just freaking put them in a trash. You've got to gift mm -hmm. them. You oh, know, you have to um, gift them. Exactly. So um, when this, when you, this is what I said yeah. about so the when guy you give, who. Sorry. Sorry. What was that? It's okay. So when when you, yeah. So example, I have a Ouija board, right? So 
uh, bothering me, blah, blah, blah. So I have to give it to you. And you're the you one that you can suffer that? Like you, that? Don't ha you don't have to give it me. You can give it to anybody, but it has to be given as a gift, you know? Um, oh, as a gift. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. That is the only way you'll be able to pass whatever is attached to that board onto the next person. Now, some yeah. people don't like okay. doing that, and they try throwing them in the bin or burning them, but it 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 doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't work like that, you know. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, they yeah. have to be um, gifted, if that makes gifted. sense, because okay. you're not you're not gifting the boards or. The, uh, to anybody or, or whatever the spirits attached you're not gifting mm -hmm. it to yeah. anyone so it'll still be yeah. attached to you if you don't gift it away yeah you know? um, mm -hmm. i mean look look at all these uh items what zach baggins has in his museum mm -hmm. they were uh, they were all gifted virtually apart from the ones what he actually paid for you right know, but, it, but right. they were technically passed on to him whether mm -hmm. he's paid for him or not, mm -hmm. he's, they've still been passed on to him. And since then, the Hartings has been has stopped at the place where it came from. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's situated in his museum now, and it's exactly the same here. It's like, since I've received mm -hmm. this crying boy painting, mm -hmm. uh, Joanne's looks started to uh, pick back yeah. up on that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so that's why, okay, so, so because... Also, the box, the box that they said, like, okay, there's something in a box. You need to get rid of it. Some of them they threw in the garbage, but then it come back, you know, you know, like the spirit and stuff like this. Oh, no, if you, if you gift the item properly, um, mm -hmm. it will never originate back to where, uh, mm -hmm. to the person it came from. It will just situate whatever, uh, wherever that attached. So say, I don't know, it can be absolutely anything. So just say a cupboard, for instance. Mm -hmm. If the spirit's attached to that cupboard, it will go everywhere where mm -hmm. that cupboard's going. Yeah. But if you burn that cupboard, it will stick to your property and you'll mm -hmm. never get rid of it unless you do blessings, uh, house um, blessings, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. And it will take a yeah. long time for that, where it's a lot easier if you just gift the person a person and at the item because it will just get get it gone okay because you know, it will just situate around that item it's attached to does that make sense mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense that makes sense because some people they just oh just throw it away you know it's just yeah. oh burn it burn it yeah. you know some people that exactly. but, i mean yeah. it doesn't always work now if it does work then you can mm -hmm. kind of guarantee it wasn't that object um mm -hmm. what was possessed or uh, attached yeah. to if it doesn't work after you but sorry if it doesn't work uh after you burnt it then it mm -hmm. wasn't that that item you know you, you've got it you've got to think which item um has the attachment now sometimes somebody knows what mm -hmm. item it is because they bring it into the house then this things start happening so they know straight away what it is because it seems they brought you know, mm -hmm. it might take yeah. a few days or a week or so before it does it because every mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's nasty or nice, it, every spirit right. needs settling right. in. Right. You know, I mean, this mm -hmm. crying boy painting, he seems harmless at the moment, but the reason why he's in the shed and not in, in the house because it could all change yet. I just mm -hmm. don't know. You know, yeah. I'm hoping um, it is a nice spirit what's attached to that, yeah. but I'm not having it in my household. Uh, yeah. running that risk you know it, it, yeah. he's, stay, he's staying in the shed with the other mm -hmm. items he's separated from the other items but yeah. he's, he's going to be staying where he is situated now and mm -hmm. uh, that's where he'll, he'll constantly stay he won't he won't be going mm -hmm. anywhere else yeah yeah because um of course you have kids you know you have kids also, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I mean, I've got I've got to look out for my children at end of day, and I can't have anything. I mean, when when I do work on the other artifacts, the dibbit box, the mirror, uh, mm -hmm. the vessel, and that, um, I wait till all the kids are in bed. I then take them into the front room, mm -hmm. and then because mm -hmm. um, obviously it's warmer in there, and my shed's not done out mm -hmm. in a YouTube yeah. room. Yet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I shut the door, and I don't let anybody go into that front room while they're out. Mm -hmm. You know, even if the yeah. kids come downstairs, I, I don't allow them to go in that front room. Exactly. Um, because there's something happen, you know. This is it. This is it. Yeah. I mean, they don't they don't always know yeah. 
I mean, they won't know what it is or um, what is wrong with the stuff. So mm-hmm. it only has to take one of them to nudge it or touch it to think, oh, what's this? And that's mm-hmm. it. They'll have an attachment. You know, it's yeah. that easy to get an attachment over something. Exactly. Um, especially something demonic. It only takes something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that, say if something's been used in a ritual, such as a knife or an axe, if you pick that knife or an axe up, you're in trouble because mm-hmm. it, can, it can attach itself to you. you right. Um, exactly. So it, it, if anything's been used as in a, in a ritual, the best bet is keeping your aura away from that. So wearing, wearing gloves, mm-hmm. I mean, you, you only have to look at how... Uh, people uh, move the Annabelle doll. You know mm-hmm. about the Annabelle doll. Yeah, the Annabelle. That is creepy. Yeah. Yeah, well. You they, have doubt too, right? They, when they move uh, Annabelle uh, to another case, which is identical to the other one what mm-hmm. she lives in, but the other one's a transportation case. So obviously, when they're moving her around, uh, they actually wear uh, builder's gloves, like hard. Um, thick gloves um, mm-hmm. and that's because not because she's uh, it'll hurt her if they touch her but it's to keep the your aura away from this the, de- de- uh, the spirit's aura you know and that's why they wear gloves when uh, they're removing her from point A to point when they're taking her out of the box basically they put gloves mm-hmm. on and that is the reason they put the gloves on Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the Annabelle is really a true story for real. Say again, sorry. Is it the Annabelle is the Annabelle uh, movies and everything that does is really for real? I think the movie is a bit far fetched, but um, if you if you just look into the history of it all again, um, mm-hmm. that is the true history. Now the only people who can hundred percent clarify what's happened is the original owners of Annabelle. It's same with Robert mm-hmm. the, Robert the doll, but it's like with Robert. Robert the doll, people is taking pictures. And if you only have to go to um, the museum, which is on a fort down Mm in uh, South Keys, Florida, um, people is taking pictures without asking Robert first. And they've had so much bad luck from uh, people dying in the family, bad car accidents, uh, just bad luck in general. Mm -hmm. Uh, They've actually written back. Uh, written to Robert de Bos asking, uh, saying sorry, uh, please forgive us. And you, there's a lot, there's a wall littered in letters for people doing that. Mm-hmm. And so I think with the movies, they were a bit far fetched, but um, I do believe the hauntings of Annabelle and Robert de Bos and all, all the mm-hmm. haunted dolls are 100% true, yeah. I, th- I think she is very sinister and mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. She, she can literally um, cause death if she needs to, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. because I was like, it's you know, like all these movies that I really like, like the Annabelle, you know, and then the yeah. Chucky, all those movies that I love horror movies and mm-hmm. uh and of course, I love the fire. No, there, there is a. I don't know. If it's from UK. I don't know if it's from US. There is a very popular uh, move, uh, show that paranormal. I don't know what it is. I forgot. Do you know what was the who is the popular paranormal like show? A show. I, show, I have no. Show or a film. Yeah, there is the popular that I'm always watching that they really do what like to just uh, all over the world. They're going everywhere to get the, uh, you know, this uh, ghost, all these is demons. It sh- is it a show or a movie? What's that? Sorry? Is it is it a show or a movie? I don't remember. I just, but um. It is very, yeah. very popular, I think. I don't know if it's from UK or from US. I'm not sure. But they are very good, you know. You mean, It will probably be Ghost Adventures. They're from uh, Nevada in America. I that, think it's a, a Ghost show. Adventures. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, Go- Ghost Adventures. Yeah, they're, they're the all Ghost Adventures. Yeah, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I now, think maybe that much. With them, but 
I, I, I actually swear by yeah. them, to be honest, because they do try and debunk things before they put it down to the paranormal, and that's what I like about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the ghost adventures, and they do everything, the paranormal all over. Yeah, and, I mean, they've you know, done a couple of places where I've out. done, you know. They have, mm-hmm. they, they've, they've, gone, they've done a couple of places where I've been to. And um, I can guarantee yeah. you the things what they've caught is the things similar to what it's happened to me when I've gone to these places, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's what it is. And then I think the name of that guy's Nick. I'm not sure if that's the name, the guy. Nick. Uh, the guy. Yeah, the Nick. Yeah. That's like he's, sometimes he gets scratched from here, the neck or something, from the yeah. demons or something. Yeah, I think well, that guy's. I, You've got yeah. Zach Baggins, Aaron Goodwin, and Nick Groff. But Nick Groff uh, left mm-hmm. halfway through, I think, um, after, what is it, season five, six, something like that. Mm-hmm. Nick Groff left Ghost Adventures. Yeah, um, the Ghost Adventures. And started his own, uh, uh, own programme called Paranormal Lockdown, if you've heard of that. Um mm-hmm. But to be honest, I wasn't ma- uh, massive on Nick anyway. I think he, mm-hmm. um, especially when I've watched Paranormal Lockdown, uh, don't get me wrong, he's studied it for a lot of years, but I think he's a bit, mm-hmm. I don't know. It, it, it is, I wouldn't like to say exactly because um, I don't know the guy. You know what I mean? Uh, I think mm-hmm. he's, a, he's a great ex- uh, investigator. Um but I think with Nick Groff he will put things down to paranormal when it's not that nat- when it could be just natural, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um where I think he w- I think it him, uh Nick Groff, Aaron Goodwin and Zach Baggins work really well as a team together and I still don't know to this day why he left Ghost Adventures to be honest. Um Yes, I'm uh, wondering uh, about that. He's not there anymore. What happened? I, I like him a lot. There was a lot. There was a lot of things going round where um, Nick Groff. I mean, Nick Groff's still good friends with Zach Baggins and Aaron Goodwin. They're mm-hmm. still very, very good friends. Uh, mm-hmm. But apparently, um, one of the rumors going round is that Nick wanted to do a couple of fake things to beef up the uh, show, and obviously, the what others wasn't. Um, didn't want to do that, so Zach fired him. Because um, mm-hmm. obviously it's Zach's, it's Zach's show, you know what I mean? That he's the one who made Ghost Adventures to what they are, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but there's also other, other things that Nick left because Ghost Adventures put, uh, producers and all that wanted to do fake stuff and he wasn't there. You know, there's a load of different rumours going around and I don't think anybody truly knows why Nick Roth actually left, but uh, mm-hmm. I get. I, 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 I don't think he shouldn't. He should have left, to be honest. Yeah, I think there's a rumor that they said that they're trying to make it some of the other stuff. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah. there's a rumor before that it says like um, I think um, the show is getting a uh, fake. I'm not sure. But, uh, there is a there is a lot going round about Ghost Adventures. Yeah, so that's why maybe he left. Yeah, um, but uh, don't get me wrong. That the more the, the later ones I've seen, don't get me wrong. They, they've wheedled out of let don't they still do it? They still try and debunk mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it's as as much as what they used to do when they first kicked off. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, and I think that's why people are starting to uh, turn on them and say, "Oh, they're fake and all that," because mm-hmm. of that reason, they're not they're not trying to debunk things as much as what they did mm-hmm. when they first started, like in season one or two and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I think I would like him because he's very very good at it, and. Uh, you know, yeah, it's, after it's he well left, known. it was different. It was different. And I'm not, yeah, yeah I'd never watch it anymore. It's like, where's Nick? Because he's, he's really like a good one there, a good character over there. But then everybody's just came in. It's just to me, since I've been watching it, it feels to me like, uh, is this for real now? Because it's something, there's nothing um, excitement anymore. 
know, just... well, I th- I th- well, Zach, when he first left, Zach got a lot of issues at his actual personal home address. Um, mm. He was getting things chucked it, uh, in his yard. He was getting um, things chucked Aww. through his windows and stuff like that. Um, because mm-hmm. obviously the first rumour was uh, Zach fired him. You know, mm-hmm. and so I don't think that is true because uh, Zach even turned around and says, "Me and Nick are still good friends. We, we mm-hmm. didn't, I didn't fire him." You know, he even said that, but um, he never gave the reason why he left. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I think, I think, out of all honesty, Nick needed time off because yeah. he was he was getting a lot of attachment stuck to Nick, uh, as you would have seen through the programs. Mm-hmm. And um, it was affecting his home life quite a bit. Which, if you fo- if you follow him on his uh, vlogging side on um, YouTube, they're on. Uh, he, he he does say that he uh, it was affecting his home life quite a bit. And it all started after Bobby Mackey's. Uh, they all got affected, and it all affected the home lives as well. Um, but for Nick, it just went on stronger and stronger, and I think he just needed that time off. Um, mm-hmm. And obviously, I think with that time off, the producers wouldn't allow him to come back, and that's why he started the paranormal lockdown. Um, and I think that is the true answer about it, to be honest. Yeah. So after that happened, that he's not there anymore, I, I stopped watching that because. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're just as good, you know. That they, yeah, it is really done, good. Yeah, they have done a lot of great places, you know. Mm-hmm. They've got great evidence, stuff like that. I mean, I I don't mind with him being in it or not, you know. Um, yeah. it is a shame that he's he's left, but it was mm-hmm. it was one of them things, you know. Um, yeah. He might he might have just needed uh, a bit more um, kick if that makes yeah. sense. He wanted to do different things. Exactly. And just like what these celebrities do, they, they all want different things throughout the mm-hmm. career. You know, they want to try different things. So that might be another reason why he left, you know, but there's mm-hmm. so many reasons out there that no one truly knows why he left. And I don't think it will ever come out, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, and and also, you know, there there is something in the Philippines. They have like you also. They do paranormal, you know. Um yeah. some of them they get psychic and stuff like that. But um I'm not really sure if they're doing for a TV show, but I really since I've been here, I just love to watch in the TV those and I love them. You know, they're all over before also they're uh, uh uploading in Whitey, you know, they mm-hmm. do that. So, yeah. but then since then I was like, ah, oh, I'm kind of blah because it's just not, and it it feels it feels to me that it's not even great since then, you know. Mm-hmm. It is there's no excitement that you know. It's I don't know. Just I had a feeling that I feel bored, you know, just something like that. So, but when yeah. Nick was there, everything was like, oh my god, you know, we, you have to watch it, you know, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't, I, like I said, I don't, I don't think they do fake anything. Um, that's not just because I enjoy watching mm-hmm. them um, and yeah. I'm a great fan of them. Um, it's just that I don't think they're that type of people now. Um, I think I think majority of the things, what they do if, mm-hmm. um, is completely 100% because they have been to locations mm-hmm. and they've hardly caught anything, you know. Yeah. Um, so I think I think in that prospect, I think that is the only paranormal show on TV. Yeah, um, I think so. Doesn't yeah. actually do any any fakeness to mm-hmm. it, and because people are blind and they watch other paranormal mm-hmm. shows, right? Um, it's same. It's same with YouTube, though. It's like the people who actually do it for real get don't mm-hmm. get looked at very much. But if people do clickbait and make things happen. Yes, and they yes. get all the views, they get all the subs, you know what I mean? And exactly. it's hard for us who actually do it for real. Yeah. You know, and it, it'll be exactly the same in the TV world as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, I mean, I, I knew that a lot of people doing that, and I believe so that, and I'm glad that, you know, you guys doing the paranormal, and I said, wow, somebody now can understand me too because I do yeah, yeah. because some of my friends and some some of my family also they yeah you're just crazy nuts you know but no not really but uh, yeah I believe my family's exactly the same 
Yeah, when, when I feel something, it's like I feel something. It's just weird, though. You know, they saying that to me, but of course, you know, just and I'm glad you did. But my husband don't believe on that. But uh, so, well, this is, this is why uh, uh, why I try and go live as mm -hmm. much as I can because yeah. um, for people who say, "Oh no, it's fake. It's all that crap." Mm -hmm. um, well, it's pretty hard to fake something when it's live. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is why I, I do a lot of videos where I'm starting off in the car mm -hmm. and um, I head to the location. Yes, it's boring to watch me mm -hmm. uh, to watch me for a couple of hours. But at the end of the day, it, it proves that I've not set nothing up when I've got there. Yeah. You know? um, and that's why I do that. I mean, I'm probably the only YouTuber what actually does that on live. Mm -hmm. I've not seen yeah. much or anybody uh, starting a live off on the way to a location then carrying it on all the way through. You know, yeah. um, it's like the, the latest video I've just uploaded, the Voodoo uh, Farmhouse. Um, I literally got there, uh, got into the location, and I started, and I basically kept it rolling all the way through so it was just like a live Mm -hmm. um, but obviously people couldn't interact with each other so it is a long video mm -hmm. um, but you but everyone will see uh, that obviously we we haven't done anything mm -hmm. you know yeah um, but you, you're always going to get them type of people on YouTube anyway you can't get away from people like that mm -hmm. yeah you know I mean don't get me wrong everyone's um everyone's entitled to their own comments and their opinions and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And I don't have a problem with that. But when people start mm -hmm. being rude and mm -hmm. disrespectful towards the people who actually do believe and uh, vice versa, even believe believers being disrespectful to the people who non-believe just because they voice an opinion. Uh, right. That's, that's what, that's what I don't like. And, but that's why I, I like my channel so much because you don't get any of that on my channel mm -hmm. i mean you would know dragon lady you've been on a couple of lives you know what i mean yeah and you, you've seen everyone respects everyone's opinion everyone's thing it's not like other paranormal yeah. uh, uh channels where they've got a mm -hmm. lot of people having a go at each other saying shut up you don't know nothing mm -hmm. um, yeah. it's this and that and it's nothing else you know what i mean it, it, you don't get that people yeah. voice their opinion and that's how it stands. That everyone's entitled to do that. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I just said, uh, you know, like I, like me, I do respect everybody. You know, I just yeah. go and then just because a lot of people, you know, they saying that, um, oh, you know, I, you know, I'm going and just join you, but later on, after a while, the next it happens to me yesterday actually. People just um, followed, you know, joined the train, everything like that. And the next morning, I just, uh, like, seven of them gone. It's like, and then I did. I did, you know. But I said, okay, whatever. And no big deal. But there's something there, you know. Just really, like, like good people there. But, of course, I'm still showing that. But it doesn't matter to me that, like, like I told to people that I'm very, very friendly. And everybody's welcome, you know. And I do the same thing, yeah. So. Well, this is it. And that's, that, that's how it is. But there's always going to be people to ruin that. Right. You know, um, it, it's like that. It, when I keep mentioning the thumbs down on my lives, they don't bother me, right? Yeah, the thumbs me down too. do not yeah. bother me. But at the end of the yeah. day, what does bother me if they obviously yeah. within the first couple of minutes or um, every single video, as soon as I put it up, there's a thumbs down. That does yeah. bother me because that's just right. taking the piss, really. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I always encourage yeah. people if. You can put a thumbs down. I'm, I'm not bothered about the thumbs down, but please state in the mm -hmm. comments why you've put the thumbs down because if he wants us to try yeah. and change anything, mm -hmm. then we, mm -hmm. we can try and change the way we do things or the, the mm -hmm. way we investigate. You know, put right. your opinion and what put you, why you've given the thumb down. But, the, but this mm -hmm. is the thing. The thumbs down is, I, I don't even call it the thumbs down mm -hmm. button. I call it the troll button because that's all it's ever yeah. used for is for people to troll, you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, <clears throat> so I mean, this it, is you've seen it on me mm -hmm. on my lives that every mm -hmm. time I'm live, there's at least 
one or two thumbs down every single one virtually as soon as i start the live there's a thumb down and it's like there's no need for it seriously you know um but this is why i'm on about getting this cd uh there is a cd what i'm going to be receiving off somebody um and it tells me exactly who thumbs me down um, oh really? You can do that? Yeah. I, I have no idea. I we'll have will to do be that. naming and shaming basically yeah. the people who thumb me down because I know for a fact it's trolls. And the thing is, I don't mm-hmm. want it for other YouTubers to have these type of people on their stream mm-hmm. because it's just going yeah. to affect their stream. Yeah. You know, and so people could say, "Oh, you can't do that. It's privacy and all that." But mm-hmm. you can give somebody a shout out for giving you a thumb up. But why can't you give somebody a shout out for giving mm-hmm. you a thumb down? Because that's all it is, really. It's a shout out, technically. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. But um, I will yeah. be naming and shaming as soon as I got this CD. I, I mean, I don't okay. care, mate. If they, mm-hmm. if they want to be keyboard warriors and hiding behind the computer and think it's funny, mm-hmm. just keep thumbing me down and all that, okay. then they can uh, be man enough to. Uh, that mm-hmm. set's being called out for it, you know. Right. But like I said, if people actually do just comment and say why they've given me a thumb down, mm-hmm. this is why this is why there, there is a thumb down button on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, the thumbs down button it doesn't do anything. All it does is take that type of video out of their watch. So oh, okay. is that what it basically, is? Basically, yeah. So. Oh, okay. What what it does is, you know, on your um, home screen, when you first click onto the YouTube and it comes mm-hmm. up with a home, you see a load of different people's videos, don't you? Well, on the subscriber mm-hmm. one, it says that it does the same thing on the subscriptions. It shows everybody who's uploaded and mm-hmm. everything like that. Well, if someone's thumb mm-hmm. you down for, I don't know, for instance, mm-hmm. um, a certain video I've mm-hmm. done, that similar type of video won't show on their um, mm-hmm. notifications. You know what I mean? That's the only thing. That's the only thing it does because if you thumb it down, you've not really enjoyed it. So they won't. Mm-hmm. So YouTube won't push it out to that person because mm-hmm. obviously he's not enjoyed that type of content. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So it's like. Well, to do it to every single one of my videos, then why don't you just freaking unsubscribe to me? I don't care. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm already gaining nearly 100 subs a day. It, do- it doesn't bother me if somebody unsubscribes to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It really does not bother me one bit. I mean, mm-hmm. for the past, tw- what is it? Uh, since the 7th of June, um, I hit 1K, 1,000 people. And I'm literally about 20 away um, from 4K now, you know. Um, Mm -hmm. And when I looked at my analytics a couple of months ago, I think I lost, since the 7th of June to a couple of months Mm -hmm. ago, about 850 subscribers. Wow. But I gained over 2,000. You know what I mean? So. I, I don't care about losing them 800 people yeah. because I've already gained three times as much. Right, right. You know exactly. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah. it does not bother me one bit if somebody mm-hmm. unsubscribes to me. It, it mm-hmm. That's just the life of YouTube at the end of right. the day. And this mm-hmm. is why I encourage people, if they don't enjoy your content, just subscribe to it. Right. Don't yeah, troll and just put thumbs down on every single video you do. It's just mm-hmm. pointless in that because it doesn't do nothing. It's exactly. it just gets to it just gets annoying. That's all it does, mm-hmm. really. Right, exactly. You know? mm-hmm. So that's why I think uh, I think like uh, two months ago because I just started it like July. Yeah. So this is apparently it's like three months. So yeah, three months to me. So it's gonna be four months probably. Yeah. So I mean, I lost two hundred fifty nine. Right. 259 so i was like where these people come from i mean you know and those 259 i i guess i followed them of course you know i yeah. i just yeah because i'm the person that's the that, of networking as well you don't know who you subscribe to and you don't know exactly. who you're so, subscribing yeah. to your back you know what i mean right right uh, so 
you know. Yeah. So sure. I was like, okay, whatever. Just play with the, you know, play with the wind like that. So I just do it. But it at the end of the day, like every one of us like says it, you know. And you know what's funny? Because when, example, when I open this, I don't know if someone watching or something. When I live, I'm doing live. I ought yesterday and some other days I have automatically thumbs down. It was so funny. Not even two minutes. Like yeah. why why this guy is like that, you know? And yeah. it's hard to predict and hard to see who did it, you know. Like every time they have those two, sometimes eight, four, like but today I d I didn't see it yet, but Wow, it's just I'm always like, wow, what did I have did wrong to all of you guys? But it's okay. This is like I said, we're here for having fun and just you know, just talking. That's, that's yeah. all it is, end it day. You come yeah. to what, enjoy yourself, and you know, you you enjoy each other's company, and that's what people go live for. You know, to interact with the fans, to enjoy talking yeah. to the subscribers, get to know them a bit more. You know. Yeah. Um, and but like that, like so with it, these thumbs down, it's like it doesn't just get annoying for the person who's working so hard to produce this type mm -hmm. of content, yeah. It's actually annoying for your viewers, and it's like, well, yeah, it doesn't really affect your viewers in any way, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But at the end of the day, it's when you're only getting what 80 likes on a video anyway. Yeah, and you've got like five thumbs down. It's like that mm -hmm. shouldn't be happening. Yeah, you know what I mean. Especially when mm -hmm. you see in channels what's got like two hundred and odd likes, right? And right. Not got no thumbs down whatsoever. It's like, yeah. what yeah. are they doing? It makes you then think, what am I doing wrong here? Yeah, you know. And it's same with my views as well. It's like my views has not been. Every time I produce a video, my views are absolutely shocking. Mm -hmm. But if I up, if I do a live then mm -hmm. it gets quite good, my views, you know. Um, but it's like more time and more effort goes into a video than just clicking a button to go live. So you yeah. think, I, I, I want, I'm trying to push people, especially my subscribers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got a lot who supports me, as you know, just like mm -hmm. you're one of them, um, who watches my videos just as much, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. as what my lives do. Yeah. But it it's like with this type of content, what I do, I can't go live at every single place. I mean, I could be hitting seven mm -hmm. or eight locations a day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I can't yeah. go live seven or eight times. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I try and go live for at least one of them. The rest of them I'll make into videos. And then okay. that's me covered in case I can't get out. You know what I mean? If I If for any reason I can't get out of the house for any reason, yeah. uh, where, where I'm in pain or... Um, I've got family issues to attend to. I've got mm -hmm. a video there to upload. If I go live for seven to eight times a day, mm -hmm. one, people will start getting bored. Mm -hmm. And two, yeah. um, it's, it's not, it's not going to work out whatsoever. I won't have no videos to upload. Right. So this is why I try and do a bit of mix and match. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Me too. So I, I've got more than two locations. I always try and go live at least one of them. Yeah. You know. And I, I really love it. I really enjoy it. And I was like, one of these days, I will watch it, the whole thing. Because, it's, of course, you know, like, I love to see all those action, you know. It's like, to yeah. me, it's like real, you know. Because I do love horrors. I do love all those magic. Like, people yesterday, they asked me, what's my favorite movies at the whole time? Actually, I do fantasy, horror, you know. I don't like drama because, you know, it's too boring for me. I want action, you know. And yeah. then, of course, I, I love also the, you know, the uh, movies like, you know, like uh, military kind of like that. I love that kind of too. So people, they say I'm creepy, but uh, weird though. But, well, that's what I wanted to, be, you know, watch it. That's it. So, that's it. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, all I will say, I mean, people's probably heard this a million, ten million mm -hmm. times. All my content is 100% real. Not all my content has something going mm -hmm. on because it's not going to be caught mm -hmm. every single time. Right, you know? exactly. Um, but all I can say from the bottom of my heart, 
everything what I've captured is 100% real. There's yeah. not been no trick fakery. There's mm -hmm. no. There's not been any trickery. Uh, there's not been any actors. What mm -hmm. you see is with me is the ones who are actually there, and that's it. Um, there's no side people where they're not uh, seen on camera. Uh, they're just hiding around until it's their time. Mm -hmm. There's none of that on my channel. You know, right. uh, so if people want to believe all the crap and all the clickbait and mm -hmm. all that, then, then, then go for it. I mean, at the end of the day, right. people who do that, that's their type of content. Who am I to say mm -hmm. otherwise? That's their content and it's working mm -hmm. for them. So good on them. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm not that type of person to fake stuff. I leave mm -hmm. everything to be real because at the end of the day, the paranormal is not going to show itself all the time, mm -hmm. you know. You, mm -hmm. you, I, I, I mean, I went to the care this uh, port of gas care home live. I had a shed load of stuff happening. It absolutely terrified me, right? But then the second time I went was at 12 o'clock in the morning, and we were staying there for the 3 a.m. challenge. Now, yeah, we got a door or two slammed, mm -hmm. but that was a that was it. We didn't get nothing else. Even at 3 3 a.m. in mm -hmm. the morning, when the heights of the devil's hour is. We, we, it literally went stone cold dead. Yeah. Nothing happened for one hour. Nothing happened. And we thought, well, we was going to stay till six o'clock in the morning. It was going to be a six hour life. But we thought when it hit four o'clock, we thought, nah, mm -hmm. sod this. We're, we're not staying for now. Um, I think we, we've, we're we going to get everything what this place has to offer. Um, but it was a totally different feeling again from when the first time I went. And it's the exact same place. Yeah. Hiya, Donald. Hi, Donald. Welcome to the live streaming. How are you doing today? Yes. How you doing? I'm buddy? good. How are you? How yeah. are you today? Had a good morning this morning, and yeah. So we're talking about. You. What's that? <laughs> Not. Uh, no one wants just to talk ahead. now, I, just in case. Is something wrong with the internet or what happened? <laughs> yeah, it is very, very nice to have you, like I said, because uh, uh, Creepy Explorer is already one of my, uh, I'm a big, because I love the paranormal and I love, I love that channel. And uh, I am so uh, glad that he's here to us. And he gave us some information with all this kind of stuff, and I really love it. So, yeah, oh, he, okay. he's uh, on the way to, uh, you know, right? 4K, right? Yeah. You're on yeah. the way to 4K. Oh, okay. So what's yeah. your channel name? Yeah. Explorers? Exactly what you've just said, buddy. Creepy Explorers. I, okay. I'll have to try and find <laughs> it. Yeah, I, when you type that in, it should be the first thing what comes up. Well, I, I noticed it wasn't in the chat here, so I was just wondering. Oh, no, I, I've been on here. I, I, I can't talk. On, um, it doesn't give me the option to type anything on chat, you see, when I'm when I'm on StreamYard. Right, okay. Oh, you're on your phone right now. That's it, yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit of hit and miss. I mean, I, I'm... I knew from starting documenting yeah. and placing on YouTube. I know I'm going to get the haters because the end of the day, YouTube's full of them. You can't get rid of everyone. Um, oh, yeah, they'll be around no matter what kind of channel you're doing. Well, this is it. So, but at the end of the day, he's rise above it, and that's what I do. You know, exactly. and, you'll, and, and, and people who is subscribed to me and, and have been with me for quite a while has seen that, you know, I, I'm still the same person, whether you hate me or you love me, I'm still the same person. You know what I mean? It, it, it doesn't really, I don't really give two um, shits if you like me or you love me. Well, if you hate me, really, I really do not <laughs> care one bit. Um, it, I'll still sleep at night time. You know what I mean? Um but yeah, yeah so I'll just keep on doing the way uh, what I love, and I know a lot of people still enjoy what I do, and I'll still keep producing videos and content mm -hmm. because I know I've got a lot of fans who enjoy my content, who enjoys what I do, 
you know, who, right. who enjoys me putting my life on the line, not just through the paranormal, but going mm-hmm. to these dangerous, rotted places. Um, it's that it's that what really I'm putting my life on the line. You're walking across in some places, rotted beams, mm-hmm. like three three stories up or more, you know what I mean? You're walking across rotted floors at 20 stories up, you know. Um, I'll still do that because I enjoy because people enjoy my content. It's like on the 700-foot mine I did, um, there's an area what's actually flooded out. I says if I get 150 likes on that video, I'll go under the water and I'll see what other tunnels there is at the other side. You know what I mean? Because oh, okay. they've, they've never been explored before because it's always been flooded. So oh. it's something new what I'm putting out for the people, but I want to get that interaction back in order for to mm-hmm. do it. And I think I've only ever got one video, which was my very first massive network stream, which actually got over 200 likes. Um, oh, I've okay. literally got about five to 10 videos of what's over 100 likes uh, mm. and the rest of them are under 100 so it's it's sort it's trying to get people to like it's trying to get more people to come in and that's what youtube's all about at the end of the day you've got to look right. at youtube as a business more than a hobby you know in mm-hmm. order for you to grow and in order for you to transition yourself out of there and you know you give people uh, what they want to see now obviously because i don't fake stuff in the paranormal i try and make other things what mm-hmm. people want to see and if if no one's ever explored this part of the mind before then why not try and do that for the people uh-huh. so i mean i would love to see it. it's only up the road from where i live so i would love to see what's that other side but i'm not going to be doing I mean, if it were up to me, I would go tonight. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'll need somebody to hold a massive flaming snorkel for me so I can drift. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I want that interaction yeah. from the people in order to show um, that they want to see that. Now, I've had a lot of comments saying, no, you're not going in the water. You'll die by hypothermia and all that crap. <laughs> I understand that, and I, I do appreciate that. I mean, there's a lot of my subscribers who are really, really caring for me. You know what I mean? They don't want me to put myself at danger in order to get a few mm-hmm. likes. Or, but if I don't think I'm, I can't do it, I will not do it, guys. And I, I will say that on the video. I said, at the end of the day, regardless if you want me to come back or not, I'll do that. It won't be happening. You know what I mean? Because I just think it's too dangerous. It's, it's not them what's there. It's me. You know, mm-hmm. it's only me what can uh, look at the dangers and to see if it can be done or not, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm a strong swimmer. I'm a fully qualified lifeguard. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a fully qualified scuba diver as well. So, I'm a strong swimmer in that content. So, I don't have to worry about knowing how to sort myself up to battle the hyperthermia side. I don't have to worry about how to breathe underwater. The only thing I have to keep my mind clear about is cave-ins or anything like that, you see. Right. That's the, that's the only thing I've got to worry about, which is also, I can look that as a good thing because I only have to worry about one thing and not three. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, because show that to Donald, the, uh, show to Donald the... Uh... The painting that you have there. The painting. <laughs> you oh. get a painting that uh, the baby. Right there. Oh, I see. That is a... Uh, the crying boy. The crying boy, for real. That they have spirit on that. Yeah, he keeps hmm. it there. He's a beautiful boy. Oh, <laughs> Oh, somebody called me on the phone. I'll get it later. <laughs> yeah, and I, I like it because um, I think uh, in his channel, The Creep Explorer, uh, he got a lot of things there like, um, you know, the all this um, 
especially when I watch that mirror. That mirror is like turning on its own. You, I know how hard that is, right? I know how hard yeah. that is. That that's and still in the car. Actually, sat that out of the car, so that's still um, freezing, freezing in the car at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still, me need to keep taking it out and put it back with all the rest of the stuff. But uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at that face. It looks like he's alive, though. He's hey. a cute boy. He's yeah, a cute boy. boy. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's, it's, oh my um, goodness! One of sixty-three. What's ever been actually painted? Ah. Huh. There's only 63 of these what's been painted. All the rest are photocopied or pictures uh -huh. or anything like that, you see. So hmm. um, it, it is a, quite a rare piece, to be honest. Hmm. And, I got, and I got him for um, next to nothing, really. Oh, wow. So I, also, I, I run my own um, mug business. I, I make um, pictures on mugs, any design whatsoever. And um, our friends, Birmingham Ghost Hunters, they actually got him. Uh, well, her husband actually got him from a house clearance and took him home, but he started affecting things around her home, so she wanted to get rid. Um, so I said, I'll have it straight away. Before When she first even got it and says, look what I've just got. I said, I'm jealous. I really want that painting. And she says, well, if he's starting to play up, you can have him. Anyway, he started to play up, and um, I've ended up having him. Um, but all I had to pay for was uh, two mugs, the two expensive mugs what we what we sell. So oh. it's a win-win, really. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm never I'm never selling him. He's going to be in my 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 property for a very well, basically till I die, really. Now he's never <laughs> he's never leaving me. Never leave me. I mean, every time I come outside for a cigarette, I always open the door and just talk to him, you know. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Because it is actually separated from the other demonics, uh, from uh, demonic uh, items what I've got. Um, mm. Is actually in a different part of the shed compared to the rest mm. of the stuff. So, yeah, I'm keeping him away from all that nasty negative stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He might oh, wow. get scared, and I don't want him being scared. So, yeah, yeah, he's a cute, he's a cute boy, you know. Yeah, but really, <laughs> when when I saw that face, when when you was driving, it's like um, I was looking. It looks like he's crying or uh, trying is, to say is. something. You know, he, 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 is. Yeah. he is. He's crying. That's 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 why the the painting is called the crying boy painting. The crying boy. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Look at that! Oh, oh my God! He got tears. Oh, yeah, you can see the tear in the in the uh, in the painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, th there's been quite a few paintings. I mean, the painter who made that painting, um, he also did other crying children paintings, mm -hmm. and that's what he focused um, his art around: crying children. Really, I don't know why, but it, I think it was the. Uh, the feeling you got from a crying child, you feel, oh, what a shame, you know what I mean? And that's the type of thing what you get from the painting. Um, mm -hmm. That's why you focused all his paintings yeah. around just on crying children. But it's always been crying children as a portrait like that, mm -hmm. uh, like that one. Um, but like I said, he's one of 63 what actually ever got painted. Around the world, so well, that painting there, creepy is is that outside? It's in, yeah. it's in the shed, yeah, yeah. It's in the shed. Oh, you're inside a shed. Yeah, basically, oh, okay. there's, no, there's no door there going outside. Oh, I uh, see. It's like a little alcove, see. Oh, okay. Uh, and then obviously you've got the toilet outside, toilet there, and then obviously you've got a little shed where the painting is. And oh, then okay. if you go outside and then round the corner, it goes into the other part of the shed. Oh, okay. um, but what I was saying to Dragon Lady earlier on, um, we're on about getting a door here. Um, we're bricking up this this area yeah. here, making a door just around here for the inside toilet. Bricking up the other door, and then where you see, oh, you won't be able to see them. Um, <laughs> where you see the breeze yeah. block there. Yeah, they got uh, pillows. Yeah. Door. Oh, okay. 
we're knocking that through and that will then go into the bigger sh bigger part of the shed so this will just be, be basically like a walkway going into the shed and that's going to be my youtube room at some point oh i so, see okay that's going to be like a studio well, this is it. Yeah, it's going to be my little studio. That's where I'm going to be. Once it's all done, I'm going to be doing all my lives. Um, I'm going to be doing something no one's ever done on YouTube. And I won't be saying that because I don't want it being taken. No one is spoil it. <laughs> no, this is it before people actually, um, before I actually get the shed sorted. But um, all you need to worry about, it, it's never been seen on YouTube and it involves Ouija boards. So... That's all I can say. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. It will, it will be impressive once it's done. Yeah. I would like just um are you are you going to do the um I mean to uh, investigation more for that uh little boy, the crying boy? Or just I will be working with him. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him a few days, obviously up to about a week, wait for him to settle in. Um, wait until he's settled into his new environment. Um, hmm. but yeah, I'll be working with him completely separate compared to the Dibbit Box and um, Carol, the demonic vessel, and the voodoo doll, and all that. I'll be working with all them together, but the painting itself, I will be working with him separately. So, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's I can't wait to do that because I would like to watch that, you know. I don't know if Duna, uh, Donald, are you do you believe in ghosts or paranormal or you know? Uh, I, uh, let's say I'm skeptical, but you know, anything is possible. Yeah, I'm not exactly. anything in this world. I mean, God made everything for a reason. Yeah, and I believe Donald, you're right because, yeah. Donald, do you believe because you haven't seen it? Uh huh. Is huh? that why you don't believe it? Because you haven't seen it? Well, no. I would say I've seen things, and I've I dream I've had dreams oh, okay. that were real. <laughs> Uh, well, the only reason I'm asking that is because um, I think it was last night, wasn't it, Dragon Lady, that somebody said, um, I don't believe what I can't see. Um, yeah. And I <laughs> replied to him and says, well, how can you believe that oxygen is there? Exactly. And they went, yeah. But it's there, you breathe it. <laughs> well, yeah, you breathe it. But who told you that it's oxygen? Scientists have told you it's oxygen, correct? Mm -hmm. So... The scientists in the demonic field, demonologists, um, parapsychologists, they're all scientists, mm -hmm. you see. They're just not very known as the normal scientists, what proves what gases are gases and stuff like that. Right. You know, they're just they're completely on a different spectacle to the scientists. Now, they mm -hmm. have actually proven things that can't be explained, and they yeah. have actually called it paranormal. Mm -hmm. So... It's like, well, how can people believe one type of scientist but not believe the other type of scientist when they all work in the same type of thing? You know, you only you only think, oh, that's called, that's oxygen what you breathe. But how do you know it's oxygen? Because somebody told you. Right. It could be something completely different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like the colour red. The colour red, this is red. But how do you know that? Because you've been brought up that this is the colour red. But if you, if someone right. called this blue and named it blue over generations and generations, you'll think this colour's blue, not red. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. You, everything. Just like the people that are colorblind and can't see, but now they've got glasses they can produce so that they put the glasses on and they can actually see <laughs> colour. Yeah, well, this right, is it. Exactly. I've got a theory on that one. It's like... It's like People who are colorblind, are they actually colorblind? Are they not seeing the correct colors? And we're the ones who's colorblind. Right. But because there's more people who is seeing the ones what everyone else is seeing, they're right. making the other people think they're colorblind. But how do how do we know that they're not? You know what I mean? How do they, how do we know that it were it's not us what's colorblind? Right. You know? it's, exactly. It's, exactly. It's, it's but uh, yeah, I always yeah. like throwing it in that logic and all that, uh, all them facts. Mm -hmm. um, 
to people who, who who's open minded or because like I said before, I don't make people believe the paranormal. It's entirely up to them. But right. I want people to actually have an open mind and think of other things. Um, okay. what you can't see and knows that exists and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's like wind as well. People, I, I say you can't see wind. And they went, well, yeah, you can. You can see it blowing through trees. I went, no, you can't. You can just see the trees <laughs> move. You can't see the wind. So right. the wind is there. Well, you can feel it. Well, you can feel spirit. So what's the difference? There's no difference. But because it's a ghost, they don't want to believe it. Right. And eight times out of ten, the people who don't believe is because they're too frightened to believe. Yeah. Know? And that's, that, true, that's, that's true, that's true. And that's why yeah. they try and rationalise it in the head, um, thinking, oh, it could be this, it could be that, I don't want to believe it because it will freak me out, so on and so forth. So they try mm -hmm. and think of other things it could be. And that's eight times out of, out of ten out of sceptics, you know, they just choose not to believe. And that's their choice, they're entitled to do that. But, uh, mm -hmm. it's because, but they refuse yeah. to look into other sides of it like the ones what i've just explained like the oxygen and the the wind and um how do we know that we're not the ones who's color blind and the ones who we class as color blind are the ones who actually can see proper colors and you know they, they, they don't think of that and it's all because the all what we come about is saying medical science medical science is still run by scientists regardless mm -hmm. how you look at it just like what parapsychologists are, just what demonologists are. Basically, mm -hmm. I'm technically, I'm not just a paranormal investigator. I'm technically kind of a scientist because I'll use scientific equipment, what's been invented by scientists in order to try and prove that spirits exist. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm just a, a field operator where I'm not a lab operator. Right. You know? So it's always yeah. a lot of things to actually think about before somebody can say, oh, I don't believe it because I can't see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do believe. I do believe. Yeah, I really do. Plus, um, uh, also, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have the third eye or something, but well, sometimes... Well, that's the other day. Everyone has the third eye. It's just whether really? you can turn it on or not. Yeah, everyone's born mm. psychic with a psychic part of the brain. Now, this has been proven by medical science and all that, that there's a section of the brain. Now, not, even the top neurologist doesn't know everything about the brain, okay? Um, no one in the world knows everything about the brain. And even they're coming around and saying that there's a section of the brain at the back of the head, um, which actually is the psychic side which is basically like your third eye, okay? And that mm -hmm. is why there's a lot of spirit cases they always say when you when you listen to reports that they always have a sense that they're feeling being watched at the back of you or you feel like people, like someone's standing right behind you, even if it's not spirit. If you're mm -hmm. just sitting in your chair and your husband comes in, dragon lady, or your wife, Donald, if you're married, you know, mm -hmm. You have that sense, don't you, that someone's standing there. So you turn around, and that mm -hmm. is the psychic part of your brain. Yeah. And it works the exact same as spirit for spirit. Mm -hmm. It's the psychic yeah. part of your brain. And this is the side of the part of the brain neurologists don't understand very well because mm -hmm. it's that minute in the, in the brain. But some people are very good at turning it on and turning it off and when to use it and when to not. And these mm -hmm. people are called um, psychic mediums now. Mm -hmm. don't shoot at me when I say psychic mediums because there is a lot of fakeness just like there is with mm. everything else okay yeah. it's one of them things whether you believe it or not but um, I've had readings of people who uh, basically has told me a load of shit for half an hour but mm -hmm. I've had readings <laughs> of people who has been actually spot on with a damn lot now the last medium actually picked on my very good friend who died in Afghan, you know, and he actually got mm -hmm. his name right, which was Tagi, Tagi Tamaki. He was a Fijian. Mm -hmm. you know? um, and he picked up on him. Now, she never knew I was in the army. She never knew how long. She never knew what my friend's names were. All I did was 
because I wanted to test her because I've had some people who's been fake. So all I did was walk into the room. I sat down in the chair. She says, uh, are you Thomas? I went, yeah. And she says, right, let's start. And I said, right, well, just so you know, because there is a lot of fake out there. And she understood that there was a lot of fake out there. I says, I'm not going to say yes or no for anything until at the very end, once you finish my reading. And she says, no, I totally understand that and I respect that. And all mm -hmm. I did was half an hour of just sit there, okay, and did nothing for half an hour apart from listen to her. And at the very end, she got absolutely everything spot on. I didn't I didn't uh, flinch. I didn't lead her on to anything when she was saying things, you know. Uh, and she was spot on with absolutely everything all the way up until... Uh, my very first experience of seeing my granddad when I was like six year, five, six years old, uh, mm -hmm. kneeling at the side of my bed. And I never seen my granddad. They both died before I was born. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. she got that spot on to the very point. She even said, you felt your granddad run his fingers down your back. And I says, uh, at the end, obviously, I said, with my granddad, you got that spot on because it was the very first night I ever slept with no top on. And I felt his fingers go down my back and I looked over and it was my granddad. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah. how did she know about something from six years old, five, six years old? She mm. couldn't have possibly known because she didn't know nothing about me. You know, and I wanted mm -hmm. to prove that fact that she wasn't another fake. Because what a lot of people do is psych these fake psychic mediums will ask you certain questions. Mm -hmm. What um, you don't think um, they're trying to pinpoint your life, but this, but they're very clever at, at pinpointing out these sort of questions and how they ask them in order to try and get information off you, in order to say, oh yeah, we've got Derek, or we've got your mother, or you, we've got your grandma. You know what I mean? They're very good at mm -hmm. doing that, and that's where they're getting the money from. And to be honest. I don't like them because they're fake. They're giving people false hope. But at the end of the day, if it's working for them, then who are we to judge? You know what I mean? Yeah. They will get found out sooner or later. That's mm -hmm. the way I, I, I find out. Um, but again, it's letting people down who are genuine. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's, it's basically naming the people who's genuine as fake as well. It's just like us paranormal investigators. The people who do it fake... Um, are ruining it for the people who are doing it for real because everyone thinks anything to do with the paranormal, it's fake. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you know, that's true. Uh, well, like I said, you know, those people don't believe sometimes, but I knew a lot of people, they say that they don't believe because they never see it yet, you know, so. I mean, like I said, I've, I've said before, and I've said it a couple of times on this live stream, and I've said, I'll, I'll always say it. Everyone is entitled to believe what they want, all right? Everyone has the right to believe what they want, okay? Uh, everyone has that choice to believe what they want. Now, if they don't want to believe it, then that's fine. You know, who are we to say, no, you should believe it and not believe anything else? We, we, we're not God. We don't, we don't make people believe that. It's entirely mm -hmm. to them, and I respect to I respect mm -hmm. skeptics. I respect um, in between 50-50 people, and I respect believers. Just because I'm a believer doesn't mean that I'll just ignore the skeptic. You know what I mean? I'll listen mm -hmm. to their opinion because at the end of the day, just because I'm a believer, something could happen on one of my videos, and I would think mm, that's a bit interesting. But then I wouldn't have thought about checking something. So a skeptic could say well, why don't you go and check that door to see if it was that? Or why don't you go and check this? And I'll think, oh, yeah, good idea, because I wouldn't have thought of it at the time. I'll go on that, and then I'll find out, hey, yeah, all right, it was that. It was a bit of a boredom. Yeah. So yeah. You know? So I always listen to absolutely everyone, and skeptics really do help me out on the channel as well. Like, mm -hmm. like I said, I never put anything down to paranormal unless it's literally, it can't be freaking anything else. It's like, Hmm. When I investigated uh, an abandoned church, uh, there was me and three others. My three friends was behind me. I was in front uh, with my thermal camera, and I spotted a figure on my thermal camera holding its own heat heat source. 
There is only one way in and out of that church, and it was through a very small hole uh, next to one of the uh, steel sheeting. And yeah. you would have heard people coming in and out because it was very hard to get in and out of that place. Uh, so you would have heard him coming in, but he would, it, you could see, I mean, check it out. It's all on video. You could see um, a figure come out and then dissipates on camera. And then when it comes back again, it's like half a body and then dissipates. And you don't see it again. And I carried on walking around, keeping the camera onto where it was. Right. And I got to the corner. Nothing was there. And it's like, well, how can something hold its own temperature next to a window as well? What was broken? So you would think, if anything, it was cold air coming in. Mm -hmm. Something that regulates its own body heat, you know. Um, but it was literally regulating its own body heat within that area, and it was the shape of a person. And it was all on thermal camera, and that, again, was on video. Now, unfortunately, I wanted, I did try and go live on that one, but the, it was literally no go inside there. The live got off as soon as I got in because uh, the signal just went. Um, but it's things like this where I love capturing because they, they are rare to capture, you know. Uh, yeah. But it's very, it's really, I mean, to me, that opens up more questions than answers because how can a spirit regulate its own heat? Right, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, um, yeah. Hold on a second. Um, um, tiger, tiger, meaning of S, not allow the S, is like sub to sub, subscribe. Don't say that. If you wanted to just say I join you, whatever, but don't say sub to sub. So all the moderator here, here is they do a very good job. And thank you so much for that, guys. Like I said, we have, we're not allowing to say that S word. That's, that's what it means. Yeah. The S word. Yeah. Sorry about that, Tiger, but you have a wonderful night. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, spamming again. <laughs> yeah, so continue. What did you say again? I'm sorry about that interruption. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, I was basically finished anyway, but I, I was just saying, like, it, it's just impossible how spirit can hold. Well, I thought it was impossible how spirit can hold its own regulated body heat, but at the end of the day, it can't be because mm -hmm. I can't. Be now, what can what? Um, I was hoping that would have gone viral, to be honest, because it, I don't think it's seen before. And if it has been seen before, it's not been seen very often that spirit can regulate its own body heat. Um, but like I said, we kept the camera rolling and I kept the camera on that location where it was. It went all the way to the corner where it was. and There was nothing there. You know, and all for all three of my friends were still behind me. I even shown them on camera as well that they were all behind me still. They, they never moved, and all three of them saw it. You know, so it was just weird how it appeared, mm -hmm. and then um, it dissipated on camera. It just didn't make sense. You know, I'm thinking that when it only shown half a body when it came. Uh, back, it was because it was running out of energy, you know. Because mm -hmm. literally, just before we started filming, at that point, we was actually going to leave. We were going to go because we wasn't getting much apart from spirit box or um, anything like that. We weren't really getting any intelligent interaction. Um, but then something felt like I had to stay and do another run round with the camera. And I'll tell you what, I'm glad that I did because I wouldn't have caught that otherwise. You know, mm -hmm. it's like it wanted to be seen before it, all of its energy dissipated, hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But we was getting a lot um, over the spirit box saying demon and ghosts. We were mm -hmm. getting that a lot over the spirit box. Now, you name ra one radio station what men mentions demons and ghosts. I can't think of any unless it's a paranormal radio station, but the spirit spirit um, spirit boxes don't work off paranormal radio stations. They work off your normal, mm -hmm. everyday radio stations. Mm -hmm. And not one of them mentions ghosts or demons. And that's what came out quite often over the spirit box. Yeah. <laughs> so... That's 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's an so, interesting so capture. That, yeah, so so that's why that's why you know I knew the box and do is that true that it says that um the magnets, magnets, you know magnets, they can Magnet, also yeah. uh you know they can also uh you know get the uh you know stop the uh, ghost or something entity or something i have no idea somebody said that to magnets i have no idea um i don't know about that all i can um imagine why they would say things like that is because spirit is static energy static electric okay. energy okay hence the mm -hmm. reason it can be picked up on um, electronic devices such as um, K2 meters, which is uh, electromagnetic field detectors. Um, it can, they're very good at fluctuating electronics like your lights, your TVs, radios, anything electronic really. And yeah. it's because they're built up uh, and they use and they rely on battery power. This is why a lot of people say, oh, my battery's mm -hmm. running dead because they're draining that energy from that battery in order to either show itself or manipulate or if it's a poltergeist to, to, be, to be able to move things. And, you know, they, they rely on a lot of energy to do stuff like that. Yeah. So because I have heard that, that you know, like um, the magnets also can, uh, you know, um, can stop. It says some people that they bring some magnets or whatever mm. but I, I have no idea it's like wow well, magnet we have a lot of magnets in the house <laughs> well i've, I've <laughs> never heard that uh, never, but i'm not saying yeah. that it's wrong uh, mm. i've just never heard of it myself so I, that's quite new to me yeah and plus because you know being i don't know if you believe but i donald donald has a, a filipina like me his wife mm. is filipina like me so mm. In our country, I don't know if your Donald wife is believed, but um, here in the house, to be honest with you guys, my husband get angry with me because all over this place we have I put some salt. Hmm. All over. Yeah. It's because sea salt it's, works best. Yeah, the salt is like hmm. um, especially the rock from the sea, the rock salt. So yeah, in our salt, house, yeah. yeah, the sea salt. So what I have done. Because in my country, in, traditionally, in when we have this kind of witches or something, I have, I put everything. And at the end of the house, our house is, is, is try, uh, you know, square, right? Yeah, so yeah. I put every places. So it says also, if you have visitors, mm. you don't know who they are, maybe they pretend, maybe witches. Witches know what salt means. So... Wow. In my country, if we have the party, I always put two, two pieces of that, like example, a cup of something, a cup. Mm -hmm. There's a salt in that in front. When you come into the house, they said they attract that to those people that, oh, it's scared. They don't want to come in because they know the salt is very, very powerful. Uh, yeah, you know. sea salt warns off evil spirits. There's That's what I say. I mean, I've got sea mm -hmm. salt. I've also got sage. I've mm -hmm. also got sage incense sticks. Yeah. Um, and every uh, every couple of weeks now, because obviously the demonic stuff, what I've got is that um, mm -hmm. doesn't need it every day now. But when I first received it, I used to light mm -hmm. them every day. Uh, I said the protection prayers every day. But now I, I light it like twice a month or something like that you now mm -hmm. um, inside there just to keep it topped up. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got sage, I've got sea salt. Um, I've got a whole garden uh, stage in the backyard. Yeah, well, there you go. You're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, that's why I said, even me, even me. Um, when we go to the province, that like in the woods, I have always salt in my pocket. Yeah. I have always. Well, the be the best way to do that is yeah. that in your pocket. It won't really do anything. Um. If you go into a haunted woods, then you're supposed mm. to put salt round in a circle and you sit in the circle because then mm. it won't come into come that in. circle, if that makes sense. Yeah, it, it yeah. just won't do it. Yeah. Um, but obviously, as soon as you get come out of that circle, then mm -hmm. it, it can affect you, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so 
Yeah, it's very strong stuff. I mean, it, it, certain hauntings all are linked into certain things. So, for instance, they can be on way lines. Mm-hmm. Um, it can be they can be built with limestone or sandstone. Uh, they're two very good uh, paranormal, um, mm-hmm. basically hot points for the paranormal. They, 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 they use the energy from them type of stones. Mm-hmm. Um, and limestone's the best, to be honest. Limestone is a proper mm-hmm. thing. And this is why when certain mines, what's been digging out for limestone are, are quite haunted as well, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but copper, copper metal is quite a, a, a very good, indi- uh, like, what is it, mm-hmm. connection to spirit as well, copper. And mm-hmm. this is why uh, when I asked for our close family friend, a priest who's across the road, he brought some holy water for me for these, because I mentioned that I was getting these uh, demonic items. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. And um, he brought like a, a little jug, uh, a big jug full of water, uh, full of the water, but a, a little pot, which has just been made out of uh, copper. Um, so you pour the holy water in the copper, and then you obviously you flick the holy mm-hmm. water onto the items, saying the prayers, protection prayers, and all that, because spirit. Um, it works very, very well because the holy water interacts with the copper. So obviously, when the holy water goes onto these demonic items, mm-hmm. it acts a lot stronger than just flicking normal water onto it, you know. Yeah. Uh, or just saying protection prayers themselves, and that's it. Um, it all works all together. It can't just be. It's like a fire. What you need for a fire is oxygen, fuel, and heat in order mm-hmm. to have fire. Right. Yeah. If you take if you take one of them away, you won't get a fire. You can have the oxygen right. and the heat, but if okay. you don't have the fuel, you can't start a fire. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. um, it's exactly the same in the paranormal world. If you take something out of that triangle, it won't it won't do nothing. So you can have the mm-hmm. prayers, you can have the holy water, but that won't just matter. You need to have something copper. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. um. Creepy. Um. Frank Scarred Corner asked you, uh, he says, like, Dragon Lady, can you ask uh, Crypt Explorer what he thinks of mediums? <laughs> um, okay, well, going back onto mediums, the, again, the, there's a lot of fakeness out there. The, there's a yeah. lot of fakes out there. That I'll be right all back. they're after is money. No worries, Donald. Um, there's a lot of fakes. That all they're after is money. But there is a lot of genuines as well, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and I believe the people who are 100% genuine and that they just want to help you do it for free of charge. And this is why they're not broadcasted very often, um, because it takes a lot of energy for somebody to talk to them, to give you the message, you know? Um, so I, 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 the ones have been to uh, who are actually genuine has been free of charge. You know, um, the ones who there's been, a, I think there was one what has is actually genuine who did charge, um, because obviously mm-hmm. that was her business. She didn't, I don't think she did, she did it as a job. But there mm-hmm. is a lot what charge extortionate prices and completely fake as fake can come, you know. Mm-hmm. So you just got to be careful with uh, mediums and all that. Yeah, he says like uh, my family pays to attend medium parties. They say some interesting things. That was Frank Card says, and also a show time says I thought the limestone attract paranormal. I thought what? Sorry. Uh, uh, the the limestone attract paranormal. What is limestone? The limestone. Limestone is just a different sto- uh, stone. Limestone yeah. is a very, actually a very good conductor to the paranormal. Um, just oh, normal really? stone. Yeah, yeah. Li- limestone is actually quite a good conductor. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. so. But yeah, mm-hmm. uh, it's a very, it's a very good conductor, just like what copper is and um certain certain things like that so you would you would see in some areas if it's a house what's been built out of limestone 
um, and it's haunted, mm -hmm. then it's more haunted than what your average house with bricks is, you know, um, because it holds that energy. It doesn't need a, a source. It's like running water as well. Running water, they can use the energy from that running water, what it's producing, more than stagnant water, mm -hmm. water you know. So if you have limestone, running water, um there's two things in one place. There's two things and it, uh, spirits can use that energy from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I have never heard about the limestone. But in my yeah. country, we have those kind of... Uh, uh, we have these... Um, we believe, you know, that there is some kind of... To avoid the ghosts or... We have this uh, something red, you know, the red. If we have red something, you know, you, you can uh, 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 let them away, you know. They're not coming with you. It's like your protection, protection yeah, well, for yourself. The, the, Fil the Philippines are um, very strong believers within the spirit realm, aren't they? Andrew? Yes, we are very, um, very strong on that, yeah. You know, and they, they all believe in certain things and... Uh, not mm -hmm. to the point where others uh, don't believe, you know. Uh, and this is the thing, mm -hmm. paranormal just mm -hmm. doesn't focus around one little thing. The paranormal focuses around a massive, massive circle. Um, what people don't mm -hmm. even think about in the head. Um, it's like mythological, zoological, uh, UFOs, flying saucers, ghosts, spirits, demons, angels. Uh, it all works it all comes into the same mm -hmm. paranormal thing. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. That's paranormal. Paranormal is some, is all it is, is something what's not understood. That's what the word paranormal means. It, it's the unknown. Yeah. You know, um, like alien. Alien just means mm -hmm. it's it doesn't know. It, it's, it's, it's unknown, you know. So that's all what the word paranormal is. It doesn't just focus mm -hmm. around ghosts yeah. and spirit. It focuses around a massive range uh, of things. Uh, so it depends on what certain... But this is this is the thing with parapsychologists. They don't just uh, look into spirits and hauntings. They look into UFOs. They look into zoological creatures. They look into humanoids, uh, mythological creatures. They look into everything what's been reported. Hmm. You see, so it doesn't. They don't just mm -hmm. narrow their eyes. I mean, they'll have branches within the parapsychologists. Some some people might only focus around the hauntings and spirits, um, but they they do they have studied to do the whole lot because that's basically what it is. You know, mm -hmm. it's yeah. like if you go into a shop and you ask uh, ask for a job there, uh, you're not just going to be focused just behind the cashier. You know, yeah. you're going to be learning mm -hmm. how to do stock tech checks. You're going to learn how to stock shelves correctly. You're going to be in the warehouse at the back. It all works in the same same principle. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Um, so you know that's why. Um, that's why, you know, I uh, everything what you have say and all those things I have been seeing and I love, you know, I, I was thinking maybe someday I can go join with that and see it from my eyes, and you know. But, yeah. If you Being ever come me, to the UK, I'm more than happy to take you around. <laughs> so you might, you might regret saying right? that afterwards now. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm more than happy taking anybody, skeptics, whatever, as long as they're respectful in what I do. I don't mind taking anyone on my adventures, yeah. you know, because, yes, yeah. sometimes seeing is believing, but um, the, be the best equipment you'll ever have is yourself. Hmm. You know, you can't get any better of equipment than that. Hmm. So yeah. it's one of them things, isn't it? Yeah, I know. But uh, anyway, well... Like I said, guys, thank you so much. You know, that was really amazing with you guys are being here. How many hours have you been already? Yeah. Uh, three hours, 38. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations for long streams. 
Yeah. I, I, I've been with you for an hour and 38 eight minutes. So okay, she, she hasn't beaten my long stream yet. My long yeah. is eight hours. I know. Thank you so much for that. You guys are uh, you guys are fantastic. I really appreciate everything. I mean, you know, I know you, it's night that, now for Creepy Explorer. I mean, it what is, time uh, is there now? Oh, my uh, goodness. Look at that. 12. Quarter past 12. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna All go right, to so, bed now. I need yeah, so I'm just get, yeah, I'm just gonna All say right. that uh I will thank you everybody and probably we'll do it again tomorrow. I mean it's been three right. hours. I'm start watching some of your videos there, creepy explorers. Yeah, guys, check it out. It's like Spot oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Appreciate everybody, that, guys. Lucas and everyone. Thank you guys so much, Bill uh, Oster, everybody. Uh, know, thank you so much for our welcome guest always here. Uh, oh, Creep Explorer no and Donald yeah. for our special guest today that will share everybody what the channel is all about. And thank you so much for that. Yes, everybody, thank you so much, guys. Appreciate uh, it. Train Boy wants to say goodbye to you as well. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, little boy. I hope you have a good sleep tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure Thank we you. will. Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right. Take care. Yeah. See you later, guys. Yeah. See you guys later. Thank you. Have a good night. Yes. Have Bye, a guys. Bye. Bye. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Donald, and uh, everybody. Yeah, Hunters and um, Bill uh, Oster Jr., thank you so much, guys. Lucas, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Everybody's in the house. 17 people still in the house. Oh, my 17 God. 17 people in the stream. Wow. Yeah, wow. You guys are rocking the boat. Yeah. You, you, you entertain very well, Dragon Lady. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I was like, uh, you know, thank you, thank us, Truth Seeker. I say it's late. Truth Seeker, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you guys so much for uh, being here with me. Yeah, appreciate that a lot. Yeah, it's, I think it's dinner time now. Still 17 uh, people in the yeah. house. This is unbelievable. But okay, thank you guys so much. I hope, Tommy, everybody, the Mad Club, thank you guys so much for uh, being here with me and see you again tomorrow, guys. Thank you so I much for watching. Bye bye. Wonder yeah. you have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs>